All we know is that Jesus tastes good. Yeah. Is that gonna be enough? Do I need to grind more? Uh, that's gonna be enough. <laughs> Did yeah. I pack a big bowl? <laughs> yeah, we are gonna have. I got, I got a little carry today. We are going to have a sizable bowl tonight. This is purple Hindu Kush. This is the same stuff that we were smoking on episode 12 of Golgo 13, which was just uploaded. So if you wish to hear a review <laughs> of uh, that. The purple Hindu Kush, please watch Golgo 13, episode 12. On YouTube. Available on desktop, laptop, or your mobile device. This is a mighty large bowl. We're like overflowing. You can put some back in for oh. later. No, nah, it's not a problem for me. <laughs> I just don't usually pack them this big to be economical, but it's your weed, man. <laughs> Are you sure you want to talk about this on stream? <laughs> <laughs> it's legal. There's nothing illegal going on. I do need the line. I can't. Really? Do I am not actually yeah. Tremere. I cannot. Um... Did you not know that, Mario? Live in Oregon, bitch. Yeah. It's great. No, it's legal here. Oh, Oregon. Okay, fair enough. I say, pretending to know <laughs> that there's some law about that in Oregon. It's been legal for like five years or something. Water again. I keep tipping it too much and get the bong water, damn it. <laughs> what a great stream. Oh boy. Is David back yet? Yes. Oh, alright. Alright. So, shall we start then? Yep, we'll get started. Okay, good. We're only an hour and 45 minutes late. <laughs> is this a new record? Or are we just making up for lost time? Uh, this is uh, a new record for when we've been streaming, I think. Stream, yeah, that's true. When we've been streaming, this is a new record. This is a new low. We've been, we've been going oh, longer than this oh. before. Before we started? Before we started the stream, so yeah. yeah. I think the record's like two and a half hours. But, yeah, but David hasn't said anything offensive about Catholicism. That's true. All right, so, so David, we haven't truly started yet. Yeah, tell no. us about Catholicism, David. Uh, where did I leave off last time? The bread was delicious. Uh, Jesus was delicious. Um, I think the priests were touching young boys. Was where you left off. But you have not. Well, they weren't. They weren't doing any of that. Okay. David well, speaking of priests, sorry, so so here's so. Here's some. Oh, this is a bit of a suspense story for you, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, so, hey, it's so about Catholicism, so it'll involve molestation. <laughs> so near the church is the priest's residence, uh, and I was doing plus. Uh, and there's a there that might be interesting for you. I don't know if you guys have this in your countries, but we've got a religion class. <laughs> is it like catechism class or something like that? We have that over here. We have like preparation for, uh, not baptism, but that, like midway baptism, I think. What do you call that? I have no <laughs> mid What's the midway baptism like... in Catholicism? Do they like baptize the fetus somehow? No, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's when you're like 13, 14 years old, you confirm or reaffirm rather that you still have yeah, confirmation. confirmation. Confirmation, yeah. Confirmation. Oh, you do call it that? Yeah. Not, was, not midway baptism. Uh, he thought it. it might be that, but he was just looking for confirmation. Okay. Confirmation. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's confirmation, not midway baptism. No, it's called, <laughs> I, I wasn't implying it was literally called midway baptism. <laughs> I want to join that religion. That sounds fun. I just want, I just want to go midway. I don't, want, I don't want to fully commit. I just want to go midway. Welcome to the first circle. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Greek mystery. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just air. There's nothing in the bowl. Oh my. Uh, All right, but back to David's story. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> So, religion class. So, it's a mandatory class for your first three years in secondary school. And you learn about Islam and Judaism and shit. So, it's pretty useful, like, for culture. Oh, okay. You know? So, it's like a, a comparative. All right. Com so, it's a Judaism yeah. class. So, Got it. So, I was doing, yeah. So, uh, we were doing Christianity at the time, though. So, I was doing a project, and it was something to do with Christianity. I can't remember what it was, but uh, 
I want I wanted to do an interview with the priest as part of it. Uh-huh. So I asked the priest after mass one day, and he's like, yeah, sure, come down to the priest's residence at such and such time, whatever day. And you thought, so, oh, no, I'm going to be molested. <laughs> it was like 11 o'clock at oh. night. Yeah. <laughs> come alone. Where something Come trim. alone and don't tell your parents. <laughs> yeah. So I went to the priest's house alone as a child. And nothing happened. He could be cordially, and it was nice. All right. Okay. That's best. <laughs> David, David, you'll recover. You'll recover the memory. Yes. Yes. I was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> You'll recover those mem those memories. You've just blocked them out for now. But uh, yeah, you mentioned you had like uh, when I knew that was your school of virgin. Yeah. <laughs> you you have religion class, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have that too over here, but it's it's just Christianity. <laughs> nice. So there's no there's no comparative religion. Nah. It's general. no. It's just Christianity, and then we have it for I believe nine years. <laughs> Wow. Like how I think he's in one of those nations where Calvinism really <laughs> took hold. <laughs> they liked it. I, yeah, wow. It, is there really that much to learn? I mean, do you oh, learn granted, it's only like 45 minutes per week, so That's still a lot. So, per, okay. okay well, so it's more like the little no, like, Bible problem. school thing that they do. There are some week. church services that don't go for 45 minutes yeah. every week. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, my religion class was like Four per hours, or, no, wow. four half hours. Four half hours a week, so like two hours a week. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's definitely more than a church service should yeah, be. No, we, we have separated religion from our school system. Yeah, we, we have, have a little thing in America free. called freedom. Maybe yeah. you've heard of it. I don't know. Well, no wonder you are so ignorant. Never heard. About... Yeah, no, you don't get any comparative religion class until you go to college and you can elect to take them. We, we, I think we got that in. I, I don't know if it was religion or mythology class in uh, in high school. But you aren't they the, the same brain. thing? All right, we're getting started. I think <laughs> I think we've offended everyone now, <laughs> regardless yeah. of their religion or creed or ethnicity. We've just offended. That was some classic asshole atheism <laughs> right there. I loved it. Twenty-one fifty-one. Sorry. An hour, 51 minutes, and we are getting started. Yes, Beautiful. we are. This is brilliant. I think we even offended some of the atheists. <laughs> yes. All right. You offended me, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mission accomplished. Off we go. Now we're starting. All right, I think we all need to feed. I think that's where Jeez, we're guys, that joke was the champagne bottle being broken on the bow of this ship. <laughs> and we are sailing. All right. So... Uh, yeah, so we are coming in with you guys waking up at your blood levels. Some of you are wondering how it came to this. <laughs> like, how did I forget to eat? Um, it's been work, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you better be making some money. That's true. So, first I'm things, trying. First things first, uh, Miles, give me intelligence plus finances to see how the, the work has been going. That's a seven. Okay. Mary, look away. No, fine. Look away. I don't see why I can't see other people's rules. Because it breaks the immersion. Because now, because like if you saw that, you would know the Miles is doing terribly. All right, Miles, you're pretty sure nothing is going wrong. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now let's go feed immediately. Yep. All right. Everything's fine. Let's go get something to eat. So over this little, the past few weeks, I'm still doing a little bit of prologue. Um, so Modius has uh, called um, both of you guys up, both Stephen and Jonathan. Um, and he has been looking for investors, like politically trying to get some more vampire investors from out of state. And he has been talking with DeVries, who is a Ventru, who made a fortune in the dot-com bubble, and then ever since has been handling Clan Ventrue's investments. Hmm. So he has been nice. talking with him, politicking, um, trying to get him to get some of Clan Ventrue's money, basically. 
So, uh, eventually, he has uh, convinced him to come down and take a look at this place for starting a possible, some, like, tech startups here. Hmm. Um, but he's going to come down and take a look at the city, take a look at the available real estate, and so he wants the two of you to basically pick him up at the airport and be concierge, handle oh, everything, sure. make Are sure... Are you sure you want me to do this? I'm sure you want me to do this. <laughs> well, he wants a Toreador to smooth talk him. Are you sure you want me to do that? And afterwards, he wants someone with Dominate to remove the memories <laughs> of the smoothing. That's all right, I'm fucking bad. Ah, I see. Why would you not ask uh, my sire? Um, or your daughter. As terrifying as this is, he believes that the two of you are his most competent subjects. Oh, God, That's right. fucking sad. This is sad, Modius. You need a better... I, like, pet him on the shoulder. All right, I'm sorry so I also... <laughs> I also want... What happened to Derek's parents? Um, well, Derek's not here, so... Hey. <laughs> Like, well, yeah, but you're gonna I mean, find he, out what happens like, to what, them. Are like... they showing up on my doorstep? Is what I'm kind of freaked out. And you haven't heard anything, oh and Derek would have to be pretty irresponsible <laughs> not to tell you. Oh God! All right, all right. So, all right. So this Devry's character is coming into town. Yes. And just Jonathan and I, do you want us? Or Because uh, I have a feeling the rest of my code is Yeah, uh, you know, if you want to bring the rest of your guys along, that's fine. But he says, uh, don't bring Ryan. We can't risk him going nuts and fucking everything up. All right, so Ryan's coming. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying... Absolutely, Ryan's He's saying driver. explicitly to both of you, do right. not let Ryan come with you. You know, here's the problem. So, we won't say this in front of Modius, of course. I'll just I'll just politely nod and say, mm -hmm. of course, of course, we can handle this, blah, blah, blah. As I'm walking yeah, out with, with Jonathan later. Now like, we both say at the same time, we can't handle this. <laughs> yeah, no, we can't. This is way beyond our pay grade. Um... Um, my other problem is, if I can't bring Ryan with, Ryan with me, then I need to leave Ryan alone, which is equally frightening. <laughs> oh, right, right. Lucy so, will be there. With, yeah, I was going to say, leave him with Lucy. That is not much better now, I think I was going to say, <laughs> does, do you think that actually solves our problem? Well, you'll know what it is they're doing, at least. You won't like it. But well, you'll know. I don't. I mean, she does have. They're going a... right up to your bedroom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good boy. Um. That's what they did last time you were out. I know. I know. You try and take one trip to New Jersey. Anyway, all right. Well, so we have the information to meet this person. Yeah, so he'll be arriving basically in a few nights. This was okay, sort of so before. This, this was before your happening you're... tonight. No. All right. So yeah, the meeting okay. took place in the break between okay. sessions. All right. So we're okay, and so we're starting Understood. in our own havens. Yes. This evening. All right. So yes, Jonathan and I have that little unfortunate. I I guess I'll. Oh, there was one other thing. Try and figure out something to do with Ryan. <laughs> Uh, Lucy, this is still not the night of the arrival mm -hmm. yet, but Lucy has said that there is apparently a like an elder. Ravnos, who has come into Chicago, and, um, give me a second, I actually forgot to switch. There we go. Coming to Chicago, not Gary. Um, yeah, she's going to Chicago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> an elder Ravnos. Ooh, much better option. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense, right? Um, and yeah. apparently she's some kind of fortune teller, so Lucy wanted to basically... You know, everyone's been through a lot, so she wanted to do, like, a team-building exercise. Everyone would go and see this... And see the oh, fortune teller. This oh, famous oh. Ravnos elder. I see. She didn't really mention... She only mentioned this part to Ryan, but she thought it would be a good chance to kind of maybe okay. patch things up with Jonathan, maybe mm -hmm. reestablish ties. All right. So does she does she speak to the, with both uh, Stephen and Ryan, or...? Yes, well, she tells that part kind of just to Ryan, but she presents, oh, the, idea presents to, the idea to everyone to, in the coterie. To the house, okay. Yeah, and to Jonathan as well. And to, well, yeah. All right, well, obviously I will politely accept while despising <laughs> the idea. <laughs> yes, well, as will Stephen. But yes. also despising the idea. Yes, my dear, that sounds fabulous. <laughs> um, 
you were interested when she was talking about divination magic, but then it got to anyone who wasn't part of Clan Tremere, and you mm -hmm. just instantly dismissed yeah, all it, of their it, clan's pretty achievements. Much, pretty much. <laughs> oh, they a, don't know shit. A, a Ravnos? <clears throat> uh, yes, of course. It's yes, right. gypsy magic. Mm -hmm. All right. It's unfortunate that it couldn't be a Semitic so you could learn something useful. <laughs> True. I was preparing, you know, some entrails for the Hara specs using proper hermetic tradition, but... <laughs> But apparently I will go have my fortune read. All right, so do we have a definite plan for that, or is that just a nebulous in the future? Um, we'll... Well, you guys set a date, obviously, because everyone has to get yeah. together. So that is this night. Oh, okay. So that does happen. So we're going to, we're waking up hungry. Mm-hmm. And Let's from... immediately feed then, and then go to the horror thing. All right. So you can do that. Um, also, you do know that the gypsies supposedly will be, she has been publicly appearing at the Succubus Club in Chicago. Mm, yes. So I if you do want to put up feeding till there, you can, or you can eh, I'd like not to risk it's frenzying. Not, it's not like I'm going to, like, get full. Yeah. I think I should be above five so that I do not risk frenzying. All right. I, so. too, should also think I should go a bit above that. And I will Me too. express to Ryan that, yes, he should feed. All right. So let's head. So where are the three of you going to go feed? And are you going to go feed together before you go to? I'm going to assume that we have offered to pick up Jonathan. I don't know if Jonathan wishes to drive himself or not. I don't think you have a car anymore. I don't have a car. <laughs> so I was just being polite. So I'm <laughs> glad you accepted that. <laughs> so you're like, yes, I'm glad. but you're free to drive yourself, Jonathan. Oh, no. I'd love to come with you, Stephen. So, <laughs> then you guys walk out to much. your car, past where Lucy drove in <laughs> Miles's car. <laughs> I don't say a word. Well, hold on, hold on. It was never my car. No, it, it really wasn't. Like it was Alicia's car. Anyway, so um, so anyway, so before, uh, how early are we waking up, and when was the time when we were gonna so? When we She'll be at that. the club basically the entire time it's Whatever. open, so, so as long as you get there before like 2 a.m., you should be good. I was going to say, so if we agree, I'm, I'm assuming we didn't agree to leave like right as we got up. No, so probably not. We could go feed. I mean, I just figured we'd stop by. I don't know where the, uh, what's our club purgatory? Club purgatory, yep. So I don't know if that's on the way to Jonathan or if Jonathan's before that or what. Um, Jonathan, it, you would have to, it's inside the city, and Jonathan, you would kind of skirt around because he's off in the suburbs. So. No, wait, he's downtown now, isn't he? he yeah. You're right next to each other. I forgot. I was thinking of your house, not your so office. So maybe I will sleeping. text him that we You mean need... Alicia's house. <laughs> that's, that's true. I, I forgot. I was thinking of your girlfriend's house, not the office where you're sleeping. Oh, uh, don't tell me. <laughs> don't call her that. <laughs> so I will text Jonathan and let him know that we will be stopping at Club Purgatory to feed... If he wishes to meet us there, that would be fine. Otherwise, we'll stop by and pick him up. I will reply gladly. I appreciate the offer. <laughs> That's a very well-worded text message. He is a good writer, <laughs> isn't he? Stephen's message was just going to number two, <laughs> Perg. C, letter C, letter U, there. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Perg, see you there. Smiley face. <laughs> Winky smiley face. <laughs> you know Stephen does the emojis. You know he does. <laughs> well, he's a he's an old man, mm -hmm. so yeah, obviously in the yeah. emojis. Yeah, love the emojis. He's mm -hmm. got the little devil emoji. You know, <laughs> you know. Just end every single text message with yep. that. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'll describe the emoji for the viewing audience. Ah, uh, the 100. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys head down to the club. And that's where everyone meets up. So, Jonathan, you're, you. you're walking down, and then you see the car pull up. And then you see yourself get out of the car, weirdly. <laughs> Ryan's in clubbing attire. <laughs> I'm obfuscated to be in clubbing attire. All right. <laughs> I was I was thinking you were obfuscated to look like Jonathan. No. In clubbing yeah. attire. Mm -hmm. That's why Jonathan I sees himself get when... out of the car. 
I can tell when he does that. I don't know. Stop that. <laughs> don't break Jonathan the mask. Jonathan walks up to himself <laughs> and says, Knock it off. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Uh, Lucy is there, but she is uh, pretty much full on blood, so she's just going to wait until she gets to the Succubus Club to top herself off. Okay, good. Let's go to a different car then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So let's all just get a, get a taxi instead, leave her here. <laughs> uh, and Terry's obviously not going to go in either because he he's a ghoul. Too. Yeah. So, uh, so the three of us will walk in together. A handsome Toreador. A Malkavian that's also... A handsome Toreador. <laughs> it's also a handsome Toreador. And then the old hobbled British guy in his tweed suit. Yeah. This is good. <laughs> With these two, yeah, okay. I'm obviously gay. I'm obviously. <laughs> I'm the sugar daddy for these two toy toys. That's what's happening here. Yeah, We're twins. Into purgatory. Wink. Yeah. This I is love the twins. ultimate form of relationship. Oh god. <laughs> so you know how Plato had that idea of how like perfect love can only exist between like two men. Right. He was just off. It actually yeah. exists between one man <laughs> and, and two, two boys. twins. And two boys. Yeah, you know. Alrighty. Alright. Well, I'm ready for this. Let's go. <laughs> so how exactly, <laughs> what method are you guys going to use to try and attract someone? I will probably just dominate. Alright. Well, it's first. Up. But I will let these other two um, young men go first to see how well they fare. I would use seduction, buff the wit, presence. All right. So uh, give me an uh, appearance plus subterfuge. That will be eight, and I'm handsome. All right. That's a My good character's start. also handsome. <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 All right. Holy cow. This is why I don't want you looking. You don't find anyone. <laughs> uh, yes, you have a uh, bevy of young women flirting, uh, flitting around you uh, for, you know, They all want a an while. introduction to Steven. That's what they're <laughs> They just figure the easy conduit. Um, so, uh, you are able to pretty much uh, fill up. The only thing is, in order to add to the difficulty here, uh, I am going to need one self-control roll from the first one you feed off of to make sure you don't frenzy and kill her. Because you only got two blood points. Okay. And if it's self control is Self-control is five. And it's obviously reduced to the blood level, so it's reduced to, to two. two. Oh, eh, 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 fuck's eh, sake. Eh, Willpower eh. point. Willpower point. <laughs> That's a oh, good thing. Oh, damn. That's good that you did that. <laughs> All right. No, you do not kill anyone. That's a first. <laughs> and you're full up. Nice. All right. So you are going to dominate people. So that yeah. is uh, manipulation plus leadership. Okay, you are able to find some people. Now give me a wits plus subterfuge to take away the memories. That is four. Just like David did with his memories of the, the priest. priest. <laughs> what was it for? Four. All right. All right. Um, so you are able to get, uh, four blood points. Okay. And Ryan. Uh, Zach, did you check your private messages? <laughs> oh, this is where he betrays Jonathan. All right. So that's going to be an, uh, appearance oh. plus subterfuge. I don't like the current appearance. Yes, current appearance. 
That's five then. <laughs> yeah. Can we not? Uh, you cut out. It's. Yeah, you cut out. Could we not make it charisma plus subterfuge? No, it's appearance plus subterfuge. Okay, it's three then. I mean, it's your obfuscated appearance. Yeah, it's your obfuscated appearance. Oh! Well then, it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Miles already told you what it yeah. was, so... And you went to all the trouble to send it to us as a message in secret. Oh yeah, I was just in disbelief that that was actually how it worked. Alright. So yeah, um... You are able to get two blood points um, before Jonathan notices you and makes you stop. <laughs> who are you? What, who does he drink from? Um, One he, of the bevy of women that you attracted. Yeah, so there were uh, the crowd got bigger once they heard that a semi-famous writer was in the area. You know, people started calling friends, and then he hooked one of them that thought they were coming to see you. And uh, it was when you were taking one of your victims in there that uh, now, hold on just a second i don't like you using that word <laughs> let's call them uh, admirers all right these are, these are fans these are beautiful yeah. people that he i treat them with about. respect oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah i yeah. really really care about their money <laughs> all right when you run in when you see ryan there fortunately steven is on hand with his memory eraser he's also bringing someone into the yes. bathroom oh, we can. To erase everyone's memories of the two Jonathans, but... Let's oh. <laughs> just make a signing thing over here while I sign their books instead. In exchange for blood points. You can give, give autographs, you know. I mean, you could start doing that. Start giving out autographs. I... Hmm. If people are asking me explicitly for them, I will give them out, but I won't suggest it myself. Okay. Oh, you're so humble. <laughs> Like, no more. Like I don't. Doesn't... I don't want to seem arrogant. <laughs> like, like he's not carrying. Around he's like Larry David like taking the name photos. off of. <laughs> he's got, you know, he's got like eight by ten photos stuffed in a pocket somewhere. Oh, yeah. Going, you know, he's like, oh, I just happen to have this picture. Let me autograph it for you. <laughs> the pictures are actually his own jerk off material, though. So, <laughs> you know, the top one is always kind of sticky. Yeah. Well, we, he takes from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So Actually, blood points that would Ryan be get? if you were a narcissist that was attracted to yourself. It would be a good thing that Ryan had this power because Ooh. he could just turn no, into you. No, then you no, no. Stop Ryan. that. <laughs> you said it, you were bi, right? It, it's not weird because he's a man that looks exactly like you. Yes, he's not. That's you. what makes. <laughs> He's not you. You're not having sex with yourself. You can do that, obviously, Look, with your own hand. But... Jonathan Weiss does not have the nausea flaw. Even he has no flaws whatsoever. He is a perfect being. That's yeah, true. No, that's true. <laughs> My so bad. He does have... So he is, he is transfixed by beauty, and he himself has five appearances, so fuck. <laughs> uh, the mirrors are so dangerous. They are. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so... Is Ryan going to actually get some blood, or does he just get the two? He just gets we, the two. Before we muscle him out. Before you, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like, what do you do? What do you do? Roleplay this, bitch. <laughs> well, I don't okay. know. I'm dominating <clears throat> somebody, so this is... This is this. Cut that the fuck out right now. <laughs> what you mean? Don't do this. Don't look like me when I am also in the building. You know what you mean, fam. You better step away, though. <laughs> <sighs> Am I gonna have to ask you to look into my eyes, or are you gonna do this willingly? Listen, go, listen. Go that side of the room. I'll stay this side of the room. No, no. Just change your appearance slightly. No. Wait, slightly? Did he say slightly? I don't just give yourself a mustache and call it a day. You would properly. Ryan, Ryan turns to the side where no one is standing and is like, did he just say slightly? <laughs> Give yourself a wider jawline, a beard, longer hair, change the color of your fucking shirt, and take <laughs> off the hat. So, so I change the color of my eyebrows? <laughs> That's a start! Keep going! Yeah, alright. Bye. 
and then I walk away and try to get someone else. I right. grab him. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Miles, is your presence still active? Well, not if I not if I'm talking to him exclusively. If I go to see him, I stop it. All right. <laughs> Wise no. I don't, I don't want to draw attention to myself while I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Listen, I'm just cosplaying my favorite author. I'm honored, <laughs> but stop that. Alright, alright, fine. Can I try... Can I try... Place it on someone else? Um, yes. Alright, I'll do that. So it just goes up to two appearance, not any higher, if you're just uh, doing it normally. What's Steven's appearance? Two. <laughs> Go for Just Derek, okay. then. Do you honestly want to look like a 90-year-old guy? What's Go Derek? for Derek. Uh, I Derek think his is also two. Fuck. What's Terry's appearance? Uh, two. Aw, oh, come on. Go for Alicia, then. <laughs> Actually, could I do that? Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. Sure. Alright, it's four then. It's also two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright, fuck it, let's go for that then, sure. Let's okay, and now I'm double sure I never see him again. Alright, so uh, appearance uh, plus subterfuge. Six. Alright. Alright. So you approach Jonathan and sit down next to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have aspects. I can see you do that. Well, I don't know. How much no. aspects do you have? You don't, Fuck, don't, shut up. <laughs> you don't have enough to see through. You think it's Alicia. That's hilarious. No, I, I saw him transform. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you no didn't. one can see him transform. Can't, he can't, can't transform. transform if you're watching. So, no, you no, didn't. Hold on. I, I was the one who in character suggested to him to go for Alicia. <laughs> Oh, oh, certainly that character suggestion, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Anyway, so going around the club, you can find uh, a nice hunky young man uh, willing to uh, take you into the toilets. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I wonder how that works. Um, <laughs> it's obfuscate when you're obfuscated as a woman. Uh, once they touch you, like, doesn't it break? Uh, it's only, I think, like, rough, like, movements. So if it's okay. something, like, like if he just, so, if he so just sucks this guy off literally and mm -hmm. okay. vampirically, so, then yeah. we're good. So I just right. gotta be, like, you know, be gentle and shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, okay. so okay. you get two points of blood out of his penis. <laughs> Dude, Ryan. And... That's when, basically, it's time for, you know, to huh. move on to the club. Alright, well, at least oh, he's not right. going to frenzy. <laughs> and Ryan gets back in the car looking pretty pleased with himself. <laughs> As Alicia still. He, he's still Alicia. <laughs> and he sits right next to Jonathan. <laughs> and just smiles. <laughs> so... So I would like to use Dementation 1 on Miles right now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> to do what? So whatever... So the Just to increase whatever he, it is? Oh so yeah, he's probably feeling disgust right now looking at Alicia, so I'm just going to increase that on him. Alright, I think it's what? Manipulation plus Empathy, I think? Uh, can you hand me the rule book? It's either Manipulation plus Empathy or Manipulation plus Subterfuge, I think. I'm not sure which. Charisma plus Empathy. What? It is Charisma plus Empathy. Get fucked. Difficulty Ew. of the Victim's Humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. Difficulty 8. <laughs> I'm nice as fuck, boy. Alright, so what, you were trying to increase it? Sure. Alright, so you botched the roll. Uh... <laughs> 
It doesn't specifically say the effects of a botch, but basically, uh, I'm going to use it kind of like Dominate. Uh, Miles, you are immune to any dementation powers uh, for the rest of the night. Not just from him, but in general? Uh, from him, obviously. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Nice. He has not you... fucked over all Malkavians by proxy. Damn it, that <laughs> made total sense, though. <laughs> it's like the one this all makes sense for. Other Malkavians may choose not to use it on you out of respect, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you feel like a slight intrusion into your mind, and then it just bounces straight off you. <laughs> You're such a good person that no one can take hold. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So, I'll switch over. You guys arrive at the Succubus Club. All right. So from what you know, uh, this Ravenous lady has been setting up in the uh, VIP room upstairs. Um, so you guys can feed first if you want to, or you can head straight up and then feed afterwards. Uh, I'm comfortable, so whatever the boys want to do. I'll give Terry some cash so he can buy a beer. All right. He has his own money. Oh, does he have his own money? Okay. He has an allowance. Okay. It's money you pay him, but he has his own money. Say, just, he has his I own money like Ryan money. has his own money. I'm making sure he's got some spreading around money. <laughs> so, are you going upstairs immediately, or are you getting more blood? I see no reason to. Let's go upstairs. All right. Let's get more blood. All right. Now let's go upstairs. Aw. All right. So you guys head upstairs, um, and so on the way, Lucy is very excitedly telling you all about, so apparently this lady is named Durga Sin, hmm. and she's supposed to be, like, super old. Like, I don't know if you know, what's that island in the Caribbean? It's that guy, that prince there, um, Jan. Jan de prince... Agincourt? Yeah, he's prince of somewhere in the Caribbean. Tortuga, I believe. <laughs> it's not Tortuga in the Twitch <laughs> universe. <laughs> Since Tortuga is non existent, but. <laughs> it's the turtle. It's the turtle island. It's, it's some island. It's one of the French ones, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyway, apparently she knew him when he was. A neonate. Babe? Yeah, neonate. Mm. Interesting. Some whole mess. I don't know. I don't know, you know, all the specifics. I see. And she's here in our humble little corner of the world to read our fortunes. Hopefully. I mean, probably we'll just watch other people get their fortunes read. I see. Since, you know, it's usually a prestige thing. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, supposedly she does other magic and things. Well, this will be quite a sight to see. All right. And she uh, kind of reaches over and touches uh, Jonathan slightly on the shoulder. And so, you know, it's just nice for all of us to get out together, you know, casually. You know, for fun. I agree completely. I agree completely. All right. It's a lovely evening. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what's uh, what's the difficulty on a empathy check to see if you're lying? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> All right. So upstairs, uh, you know, you head in, and the VIP room is pretty packed at this point. There are a lot of people hanging around. Is Nikolai here? Um, no, he is not. All right, so yeah, as you guys enter, you do see uh, a couple of members of the Primogen present. Um, there is uh, Annabelle Triabel, the Toreador Primogen. Um, oh, Spectre Tori, yes. Yeah. Um, and actually, I think that is... Nope, there is also uh, one of the Bruja Primogen, uh, Kratias. Um, you know him Have by reputation, him? Okay. but I don't think you've ever met I him. Not met him yet. Okay. 
um, and he is the one currently having his fortune read. Mm. Um, give me actually a intelligence plus politics to see what you might know about him. Oh, that would be four. All right. Yeah, you actually know a fair bit about Critias. He's supposedly uh, extremely old, like thousands of years, possibly. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be some sort of ancient Greek. But, like, uh, appearance-wise, is he, like, a young man? Or uh, no, he's old as shit. Oh, okay. So he's like me. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, yeah, he's a Bruja, and he was around, obviously, way before the Camarilla. Back when the Bruja weren't so yeah. thuggish. No, he's... Okay. Yeah. You know, there are rumors uh, going around that, like, he was there at Carthage at some point, so... Mm -hmm. That was a while ago. So, yeah, of, like, the scholarly Bruja in the world, he's one of the, basically, top tier that's still around. That's why I respect him right there. That's why I did my <laughs> research. Yeah. Anyway, I would be interested, so if I can maneuver my way, so I can get a good earshot of what she is saying to Critias. All right. That's, that's my plan. So, first off, give me a perception plus alertness. Five. So with your auspex, you're able to see, you do see kind of a flash of cards, and what you see is, um, so you see the tarot card of the tower. Mm hmm And, um, what's your skill in occult? I have three in occult. All right, so yeah, you pretty easily know the tower means basically sudden change, things like that. Hmm. Um, but by the time you get over there, the reading is pretty much over. That's the only thing you notice. Hmm. So who's next? And so they're basically there's people are crowded around in kind of a circle, but no one is really like too close to so them. No one's like looking over the shoulder during the readings. Mm -hmm. um, but everyone's obviously trying to do that. But they've okay. kind of tried to position themselves in such a way hmm. that people have a little bit of privacy. So we don't just got to go stand up right next to the table. We no. We pretend like we're doing something else. I mean, no one's really pretending, but they are kept at a distance. It's air, like it's roped off around them. All right. Someone with Toreador sensibilities might think that that makes it more of an attraction if you're not able to get that close. I see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so can I, with my occult plus intelligence tell whether or not she's using some sort of discipline or magic or... Um, you would have to get probably a closer look from this distance. You're not really sure. Okay. Especially because it might have something to do with chemistry and you're not really familiar enough I see. Okay. without a close examination. And even with a close examination, what? you're not sure what more you can learn. Yeah, well, it might just be interesting to see. If, well, if yeah. I can tell that she's using some sort of... Yeah. What if I look at Durgason with the eyes of chaos? All right. Uh, give me a perception plus a cult. Five. So uh, there is a pattern to the cards. You can definitely, uh, but of course, cards always have a pattern. Of course. But he can't read any babble. There's no babble or anything like that, no. Okay. So what's going on? Is Critias getting up from the table? Yep, and he is getting up. Moving. Oh, where's other, are other people? I'm yeah, so it. people are kind of jostling around. Um, the only one that kind of isn't getting jostled is uh, Annabelle Triabel, who is kind of set up. She's the most important person here, so if she mm -hmm. hasn't had one already, then obviously she's going next. So Durgason turns around, Critias passes pack, and he seems kind of shaken, basically. Hmm. He seems like he's kind of lost in thought, and he, he basically almost stumbles into you. Oh. Um, but you kind of get out of the way. Well, I, I would very much like to introduce myself to him, if I could. Um, so he Unless kinda... this possibly is not the good time. Yeah, he seems like he's completely lost in thought. Huh. And actually, as you're kind of looking after him, Durgason, you hear her call, you group, you. And you can see she's pointing at you and the rest of the coterie. I will look over at Annabelle. Does she appear annoyed? Um, she is looking directly at you. 
with the perfect Toreador serenity, which Jonathan so ably displays mm -hmm. at all times. Yeah, I feel like Jonathan's a hot mess right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's always a hot mess, but you never know it. It's called poise. Oh. All right. <laughs> some clans have it and some don't. All right. All right, well, I will... Um... I will look quizzically at um, Durgasin and say I, my intention was not um, to participate, but possibly if my friends wish to go. So, she motions for all of you to come forward. Well, I'll boldly step forward. All right. All right. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to get my fortune, but considering we kind of know my fate already and it's not a good one. <laughs> Yes, no, this is not going to turn out well, Jonathan. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever happens. This wow, is... you somehow rolled the reverse tower five times in a row. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. So we will take our place at the other side of the table. All right, so there's only one chair. I believe the old man should sit. All right, so Stephen sits, and everyone else has to stand around him in a semicircle. Mm -hmm. As the young boys should do. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a life you lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so she starts uh, shuffling her cards, and she says, "Fate is swirling around all of you." Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm seeing. I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. All right. I'm like whether she's got like magic going on. Give me an intelligence plus a cult. Seven. Actually, it would be Seven. perception plus in cult. Six. Doing this one. Let's see. Oh. Oh, she starts shuffling the cards, and you can't see any magic happening, but mm -hmm. she does have a very mysterious air about her. Hmm. Well, I'm just keeping my eye open. All right. I'm watching. I'm, I've got my feelings out for the mojo. <laughs> it's like Penn and Teller here. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm the little short ball guy. <laughs> All right. So she says, uh, "Tell me your names and your birthdays." Our human birthdays. Mm-hmm. I don't know my human birthday, but I will. Uh, I will. You guys can make updates. Doctor Stephen Higgins. Trying to think of twenty years before, so um, so we'll say uh, June eighth, nineteen ten. I thought that would make me twenty something in the Second World War. All right, Miles, uh, me Miles. next, Brian, right. would whoever uh, wants to go. I can go, sure. I'm I'll go. Down, so I that. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I will too. Actually, hang on. <laughs> uh, Ryan's birthday we already know because we confirmed that it's the same as David's. Mm -hmm. Well, what year would my would Ryan well, have been born? So when did he, he was, he was you, a fifteen-year-old when he was embraced. That's true. You don't actually remember what year you were born, really. No. Well, a date is good enough anyway. So. I'll just answer so. All right. Ryan Cormac Farrell, 24th of June. All right. She looks at you and nods. All right. I'll go Jonathan Weiss, December 12th, 1972. All right. And then Lucy gives her name and birthday as well. Which is? <laughs> Lucy Alistair, and I didn't come up with a birthday for her. I'll check the astrological signs later. So we could get her a gift. <laughs> I'll no, check... fuck you, I don't care. No, I'll don't check care. the astrological signs later to see who's most compatible with mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan's birthday. Soulmates. Just give her, the, uh, just give her so September 18th. That's my hyper. <laughs> so, she starts shuffling the cards, and then she says, you first. Which points to you, Stephen. Okay. Alright. So... She says, uh, 
the fates are definitely swirling around you. I have only a slight bit of uh, advice to give. I'm not in a position to offer you a full reading. And so she keeps flipping through, and then she pulls out the Emperor and hands it to you. The Emperor? And what do I know of the Emperor? Uh, secular power. An unyielding male dominance. Well, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I straighten my tie. <laughs> uh, the source of law and justice for those subservient to him. Mm-hmm. So does she? Is this she what explains I know? Is this all that. She explains all this as well. But mm -hmm. obviously, you're obviously I know. As soon as she gives oh, me the card, thank like, you, the Emperor. Wow. All right. So, <laughs> okay. Well, I will put the card down in front of me on the table. All right. So, next uh, she goes for you. And she points to you, Jonathan. Very well, I will step forward. All right. And this time she pulls out uh, the hanged man. Oh, what a surprise. Your future is one of suffering and sacrifice. What a surprise. Yeah, Steve, Steven <laughs> does this. Steven does the little, like, Yeah. <laughs> But it's not necessarily magic because anyone looking at this no, guy, you know, so far she's so far she's just hit what's obvious. Yeah, I mean, um, she's obviously not done any magic here. On the design of the hanged man for her cards, there's a speech bubble next to the hanging man that says, <laughs> "I could have handled this I on could. my own." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, the hanged man usually has like a halo of light representing uh, his martyred quality. So it's also partially a spiritual fate as well. All right. Well, he is being possessed by Slenderman. <laughs> so it is we spiritual. So. It is spiritual in some way. So, all right. So, yeah, so I'm still not noticing any magic going on here. And then she points to the two of you, the, the couple. So there's Ryan, Ryan, and Ryan and Lucy. And obviously hands over uh, the lovers. Right. Again, you're not yeah, again, impressed. You know, I just, I'm kind of sitting there going, mm-hmm. So, uh, the lovers uh, represent love, um, but also, of course, choice and the possibility uh, of sacrifice for love. Mm. Uh, and so the lovers, she uh, hands over to uh, Ryan. And then uh, to Lucy, she hands the devil. The devil uh, represents corruption. Uh, it represents how uh, fate can drag you down into hell uh, if you cannot control your desires. Lucy is a woman. I'm still not <laughs> sure and of course, that there's any... On the devil, uh, beneath the devil is, of course, depicted the lovers in hell. Hmm. All right. So, all right, still, nothing here is impressing me. So... She uh, basically right. takes her cards back, holds them up, and then says, you will uh, experience change in the near future. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you very much. And I will gather the cards, give them back to her, and this was very informative. Thank you. All right. <laughs> oh, and uh, as fun. as you're leaving, she does uh, grab Jonathan's sleeve for a second, and she says, uh, "Bear, beware the holy man." Right. Thank you. Anyway, is there anyone mm -hmm. here? Of I thought it was just a farce. Mm-hmm. Um. So, is there anybody else here that is worth? I would really like to introduce myself to Pratias. Uh He has already left. He's left. Okay. Is there anybody else? Uh, there's Annabelle, but... Uh... I'm assuming she's going next. I would I, I would like to stay and hear hers. Actually, as hers. soon as your reading is done, uh, Ravnos turns to the group uh, and Durgasin says, you know, that will be all for this evening. She takes her cards and she really? leaves. Really? She ended on us? She ended on you. That was completely... Thought she was supposed to be here all evening. That was originally the plan. All right. Well, I know Annabelle, right? Mm-hmm. I can go over and 
say what 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 was that uh she seems to be uh she's with some other people and she seems to be deliberately snubbing you oh all right and no one else here i know um there's some other like you see some anarchs here if you want to be seen you know consorting with them in public i don't know is, is damien here um he is so i might give him a nod all right yeah he'll nod back okay gives you like the fist <laughs> um the sheriff is the sheriff here uh he is yes he took care of that give him a oh yeah that's right yeah, he hasn't talked to you since then, so he comes over to you and says, uh, well, well, well. I remember we had an issue. I don't remember exactly what If it isn't the deputies. That's right, we are deputies. Yes. Did you, uh, handle that little problem? Yes, we came out okay. Thank you for your assistance in the matter. The Malkavian is dead? Uh, he escaped from you. Uh, <laughs> he did escape. Not large. He is not, not large. He did escape, but we prevented him from accomplishing his purpose. And he's left the city? Uh, I nah, sincerely <laughs> hope so. I'm revoking your deputization. <laughs> oh, come on. How are we supposed to cut a odd guy without being deputies? So, you know, if you need our help in the future, you know where we are. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. We did apprehend the gangrels. We done did got de deputized. <laughs> <laughs> we did done get de deputized. Gosh darn it. All right. All right. Well, that was a complete waste of my time. Um, right. Who could have seen that coming? We learned loads. What you talking about? <sighs> I learned that I am going to die. Well, we knew that already. Yeah, what did she say? Sorry, really? Hold on. I reconfirmed I am going to die. Mm-hmm. Now, hold on for a second, Jonathan. What did that woman say to you? Said so you, you were going to suffer. That I'm going to die. Suffering oh, awaits me. Yeah. Oh, no, when she pulled you, when she pulled you aside. Uh, beware of the holy man. Huh. Which I assume is good advice for any vampire. True. Yeah, still pretty generic, eh? Yeah. Well, well, if one shows well. up, yeah, if one shows up, I will leave the area. Um, Unless he is a paying customer. Is there? There's a second floor bar, right? Uh, yeah. And I can get Vitae there. Um, you can try and dominate someone else. Yeah. Well, I thought we could. Or oh no, we're feet. That's right. They don't serve it here. Uh, I'm trying to remember. As a owner of the Succubus Club, I would have access to Vitae, but I'm not the owner of the Succubus Club in this one. Then never mind. I will um, grab a drink of some sort. I would like to speak with Lucy about how she felt that went. <laughs> hmm. Well, she seemed very impressed. Mm -hmm. She's kind of mystified. You you don't feel like she just simply told us what we already knew. <laughs> I mean, like we know you and Ryan are lovers. Yep. Yeah, she's know that. Yeah. And then, well, obviously, Lucy kind of has been, you know, tucked up close to Ryan ever since. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, there could be a choice in the future. Yeah. That could send you both to hell. <clears throat> exactly. I don't like... So... Well, I didn't like that part of the reading. Mm -hmm. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we could make, you know, there might be some sort of big choice in the near future mm -hmm. for us. Oh, look at Ryan. <laughs> Smile. Uh -huh. 
Rhino, Rhino, wrap his arm around Lucy, pull her in. <laughs> I see. They're making kissy faces at each other. I see. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go find Terry. <laughs> And uh, if these guys want to feed, him, yeah. that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go lay low with Terry somewhere. Just try and stay at him. All right. Does anyone else want to feed at the Succubus Club? I'm good. We should probably just... I, I feel uncomfortable in Chicago since the Anarchs hate us and, you know, Nikolai hates us. Yeah. And You are kind of exposed. We are kind of exposed, so if, if we're done here, maybe we should wrap this up and get back. Get out of town. Get out of Dodge, sort of thing. All right. As the sheriff would say, ha! Anyway. All right. So you guys head out um, and get back to Chicago. Mm-hmm. And this oh, evening... Um, yeah? So I have a random question. Mm-hmm. Uh, did I get my hands back on my iron fucking bar uh yeah all right good stuff so that evening you guys can do pretty much whatever you want to do how am i going on the remember i have that horn from the goat yeah how am i doing on making that into a weapon i mean you can shave it down into like a dagger basically can i can i fix it to like the the thing of ryan's staff um, you're not necessarily sure how well that would no. work. I think that would defeat the purpose of the cold iron, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're putting Demand cold iron on your on your staff. Yeah. Well, I was just anyway. It has to be. Well, I can yes, sir. Like I can make a, a dagger or two daggers. I'm sure yeah. the horn is big enough. Um. Yeah, you can do one for you have two horns, so you can do one for each horn. Okay. I could take one of those daggers for you. I assume that's yes, the plan. No, maybe mm -hmm. so. Yes. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to write my notes. You're the only one in the group with Melee, so I assume you have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have Melee. I have one dot of Melee. All right. I have four dots of Melee. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> Jonathan, I have... Miles is saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. And I was about to say, I have dots of melee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Same with Derek. All right. Okay. So yeah, you guys can do whatever you want with the rest of the evening. If you have any specific plans. Otherwise, we'll just move on to the next day. No, I guess we'll move on to the next day. Uh, what's the stats on that uh, goat horn? Um, the goat horn is finished... So we've got a couple of daggers. I'll present you with your dagger. That's I right. said I... no, but what's the stats on it? Oh. oh, it's just a dagger, but it deals aggravated damage. All right, cool. Um, it also seems a little bit more fragile than a regular dagger, so it's possible that it could break. With repeated uh, use. All right. So, uh, that evening, as you guys are getting settled in for the day, uh, Lucy is obviously in bed with Ryan, and uh, she whispers in your ear uh, that, you know, she's been thinking a lot about, you know, the fortune telling. And you guys need to break up. Um, and she's been thinking a lot about, you know, the big choice, you know, the possible sacrifice for love. Oh, mm -hmm. this is the blood bond. Um, and she would like to drink your blood for a second time. Oh. Well, if you're sure about that. Yeah, and she, I, yeah, yeah. She, she also says that maybe you guys could think about... Taking that big third step. Sometime in the near future. Might be a good idea. Because you guys are in love. This is vampire marriage right here. And it's forever until you drink the Valdry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's forever until the Sabbat. <laughs> until you join the Sabbat. 
No, it's your turn to make this mistake. <laughs> yep. Except when I do it, it's not a mistake. It's a mistake. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, um, you guys obviously, you'll have to spend the blood point obviously because she wants to do, you know, the you, drinking. The drinking, and then you're gonna have to spend another one to activate yourself because she would like to is do. Is that how she's drinking it? I was gonna say, is that how she's absorbing yeah. it? If that's you know, if that's the way you would feel most comfortable. <laughs> then you don't have yeah. to, you, you know. I was yeah. just doing this with a guy earlier today. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's well, where this blood no, came what from. What I want to do, right? Mm -hmm. What I want to do, right? I want to use. <laughs> this is a, You've made this a lot more embarrassing now if we're using this method, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to yeah. use Eyes of Chaos on the patterns. Of the way the blood uh, in, is emitted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I you... want to see what the Mad Network has to say about us becoming closer to be blood bonds. You can't see any of that. The whole point is that she's swallowing it. You see nothing. Yeah, but like we could. Yeah, but like there could be a bit of mm. air time if you know what I mean. No, <laughs> there's no air time. She's right up on there. Jeez. All right. Fine. <laughs> All right, but later Ryan masturbates and ejaculates onto the wall, and yeah. then. <laughs> anyway, so you lose two blood points, um, and then everyone goes to sleep for the day, so everyone loses a blood point as well. Wait, what if I look for patterns in her hand movements? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it doesn't work. You're too. You're too busy. Look for patterns in the way her hair smells in the morning. Let's do that. All right. So, needless to say, Stephen, you're trying to enjoy some shut eye, and once again, you you keep hearing screaming from downstairs. Oh, God. Yeah. Screaming. <laughs> wow, impressive. Uh, Lucy does a whole performance, and you've been known to get into it as well. <laughs> <laughs> mm. it's Do you a, see why I left them, Stephen? It's very manful screaming. Okay. So we're right near this uh this permanent blood bond. We got him there. You're gonna have to start uh making some serious decisions. I know this is pointless, but out of character, I feel like I have to tell you this is a bad idea. <laughs> so make some uh, serious moves to join the savage on my right. Yeah, that was how Jonathan handled it. <laughs> and that was the right option. I firmly believe that was the best option I had. <laughs> I can handle this. At the I, I can handle those this. Are... This, oh, no. this is... <laughs> yeah, those are famous last words. He has... It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> it's already happened. He has chosen a path you have already walked, Miles. <laughs> Going to hell. That's the choice. Alright. This is like I'll a scared you, straight so. program. <laughs> Miles is like, I've been where you are. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys wake up the next evening, and this is the evening where you are set to pick up DeVries from <laughs> uh, from O'Hare Airport and take him around Gary. All right. So he's just doing a short flight here, so he's arriving just a few hours after sundown. All right, well, Terry will get the car ready. Now. He did have it vacuumed and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's looking nice. All right. Then we'll go pick up this guy. Pick up Jonathan, pick up the guy. All right. Are you putting Lucy in charge of Ryan? Yes. All right. So we'll be gone for a while. Keep him here, keep him out of trouble. Mm-hmm. All right. So. 
You guys take off. Uh, Lucy uh, basically tries to keep you busy, Ryan, uh, while they're making preparations to leave, you know. Uh, she suggests that you guys uh, shower together to start with. Uh, and once you guys <coughs> hop out, you know, she suggests that you guys, you know, spend some time, you know, doing something you enjoy, like maybe wa playing some Majora's Mask, watch some Godfrey Ho films. Sounds good. <laughs> it does sound good, actually. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect date. Show her your six speed run strats. <laughs> No, you can't speedrun Majora's Mask. You have to savor and just enjoy it. I also speedrun it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> now, these are the intended strats, but... Alright. So. You guys, uh, get in, you pick up Jonathan. Okay. And Terry is with you? Yes, he's driving. Okay. Um, do you want to, this might matter for when Stallworth comes back, do you want to bring Derek with you, or do you want him to stay at the house? I don't know. What do you think, Miles? You uh, and I aren't any good at fighting at all, <laughs> so when well, we are attacked... hopefully there will be no fighting. Yeah, you know, yeah, right, right. I guess Terry's my bodyguard. Right? Terry, Terry could act as a bodyguard. Yeah, I think Terry alone will be enough. I don't think we. No, don't be saying if... we don't need him because you know we will. But uh, I'm not saying that. I uh, just within... think in character, in character, in character, we would both think it's probably better just us. The two of us are gonna fuck it up enough. We don't need other liabilities. Is what yeah. you think? Yeah, out, out, out of character, I would say since Star Wars isn't here, he couldn't possibly fuck it up. Uh -huh. Right. But, but in, if... in character, in character, bringing Derek would be a bad idea, I think. Okay. All right. Because in character, we know Derek is a coward. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And wouldn't be much help anyway. And plus, he's looking more and more animalistic these days. Right. But, yeah. He doesn't look so, particularly hot. So, yeah. All right. So, all right. So, you and me. All right. The power team. Oh, God. The power top, the power bottom. <laughs> oh god, this is all right. Going to be all sorts of bad. Unyielding, oh, yes, indeed. Unyielding male dominance <laughs> and the suffering and sacrifice you guy. <laughs> and the martyr. Uh huh. Nice. <sighs> all right, let's let's just get this over with. All right, so. Um. Yeah, so you guys have also, um, up until now, kind of been using uh, what influence you have with the city to basically just try and get the best deal possible. Mm -hmm. Modi's have been doing the same as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you uh, head over to O'Hare, and uh, you're there, waiting at the gate. Do you have a little oh, sign? DeVries sign. Yep. Terry's holding it up. He's in his yeah. little chauffeur outfit. So after a little bit, uh, the plane completely disembarks, and then a man in a... a tall, blonde man with curly hair in a very uh, expensive-looking business suit steps out. Right. Obviously, we're both dressed for the occasion, right? Uh, like khaki pants and... <laughs> Bahama no, t-shirt. No, I, I look very Sucks and sandals. I, I, may a, I may have a bow tie on. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm wearing the finest clothes I have. I assume I have some. Okay, yeah. Appearance five. You're good. Yeah, my, my character would have some. Absolutely. All right. Shaved the neck beard. Lost the fedora. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm specifically saying you don't have them. I, do you want them? <laughs> I don't have a neck beard. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jonathan. Jonathan does not have a neck beard. <laughs> the this fedora. Very he, the fedora. He this does is have. very important characterization. <laughs> I unfortunately, I, I unfortunately canonized that, but he's not wearing it ever. I mean, it's not impossible that you were embraced with a bit of 
hair grow. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> if it was before, in the before he'd gone to the. If uh, you were embraced in the evening, then it makes sense to have a little bit of know, a beard. And and maybe you maybe you hadn't gone to the you know the the hair removal place and you know you were getting a little scruffy. Around the neck. And then you were. He has no neck beard. <laughs> he has okay. No neck beard. Let's let's be honest. Jonathan probably can't grow a full beard anyway. Right. That's a good point. See, that's the point you should be making. <laughs> so, I mean, let's just... Jonathan is completely smooth-shaven. <laughs> Don't look too deep into that statement. Meaning... He, he's been taking testosterone pills for months just to have something that he could shave. Yeah, just so he could maybe get a hair. Anyway. And then immediately shaved it, mm -hmm. so he can be mm -hmm. like, shave, shave it. I shaved my chest, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're <laughs> yes, we're done. So the prize, he the comes, prize out. comes out, okay. and uh, <laughs> go. And I, and I will be like, you know, Dr. Stephen Higgins, welcome to Chicago. All right. Jonathan Weiss, a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. All right. He shakes both of your hands. Says, uh, all right. Well, first things first. Um, and he has Terry grab his luggage. Says, I want to stop off. At the Hilton downtown, that's where I'll be staying, uh, to drop off the luggage and secure my accommodations. Very good, sir. No problem at all. I assume you have the gear necessary for sunproofing here? Sure. Well, all right. He gets in. Do, do we? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can perform a ritual if necessary, but we can probably. Okay, good, we do. <laughs> All right. Okay, I need to write down that we got like plastic bags and that we got like garbage bags in the trunk. Or something. All right, <laughs> that's yeah. something that we're planning on adding. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're doing that. We're doing that. That's in my office. We're gonna pull it off like the occult ritual was. Well, Terry's gonna go to housekeeping and grab a bunch of trash bags, and then we're gonna, you know, mm. we're gonna be fine. But I'm gonna put those in the car from now on. All right. He might be impressed if he sees the ritual. I was going to say, I'll, I'll whip out the ritual on it, but it's only going to last one night, but we can make out other accommodations. I don't know how long he's going to be here. He should only be here for one for, night, for the one if day. everything okay. goes then I am day. whipping. Then I'm whipping out the whole ritual thing. All right. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah. Just as planned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we, I got this. I got this, John. I got this. All right. You can handle this. Mm -hmm. So you guys arrive at the hotel, and he's got the suite reserved. Okay. So, you know, porters take up the luggage, he gets signed in and everything. And then heads, you guys head up the elevator up to the penthouse level. And uh, he disembarks on the nicest, in the nicest hotel room you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Much nicer than anything you've ever stayed in. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, this is nice. This is the. Actually, you probably could afford it, but only with drug money, so. Yeah, well, you know, I mean. According to the IRS, you could never afford this. Of course not. Of course not. Not not on a professorship, even with ten. Could I technically afford it? Um, no. Resources free? No. This is beyond. <laughs> if you liquidated your life savings, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So anyway, yes. There is. There is that. So. And there are obviously bottles of water there, but you wouldn't even imagine how expensive they oh are in this so. room. <laughs> They're like 50 bucks for a little 8-ounce bottle of water. Holy cow. That's where they get you. Mm-hmm. Never ever look in the mini bar. <laughs> All right. All right. So. So he makes sure he gets settled in. He checks everything. Uh, he gives you time to perform your ritual. I do need an hour. It is intelligence plus a cult. Seven. No, I need to spend a, uh, spend a willpower point. No, this is a ritual. This is a ritual. Open my satchel, get out my reagents, start chanting. All right, so. Drawing my sigils. You believe it has worked? Okay. Uh, during that hour, he basically gets settled in, and then he talks to Jonathan a little bit about, uh, just sort of the business. Talk him up on the investments, Jonathan. I will attempt to do so. All right, so that is going to be a charisma plus finance. That is eight, and I'm captivating. 
everything has come together. This is the role Jonathan was built for. <laughs> this is it. Talking right? amiably about money. I don't know if you've noticed how much money we have. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so he seems definitely um, be going along with you as you're describing the wise investments that you've already been making, you know, how they They're could... They're using presents on each other to captivate each yeah. other. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah. So, yeah, right. once the ritual is finished, he seems definitely well disposed towards Jonathan, at least. So there's nothing, no memories you have to remove yet. Okay, very good, very That's good. good. Things That's are good. going well. He says, all right, and before we get taken to the site itself, I'd like to be taken somewhere where I have uh, a chance to feed. Um. Now, he's going to Gary, but he's staying in Chicago. We should probably present it to the prince. That's already been handled. Okay. Just Venture sure. have their own little network. Well, and I wasn't sure. I just wanted to make sure we were. You know. He's technically here on clan business, so. Okay. Okay. So. Well, uh, what is, what is a nice place? Would he be okay with a nightclub? Well, I'm thinking the Succubus he, Club. That's he said Venture, so probably not. Wherever it is, he may have some sort of specific taste, so you don't really know what oh, that is. That's true, and I would. So know you that should actually. probably. Should say, yeah, so let's go somewhere with a lot of people. So let's go to the Succubus Club. Yeah. Or I was going to, so I will suggest that unless he has some other place in mind, if there's some place he would wish to see. If the Succubus Club is the place in the city, then that's where we'll go. It is the place to go. All right. God, I hope we don't meet Nikolai. <laughs> God, God, I hope we don't meet Lucy or Alicia. <laughs> I was going to say, Lucy, we know where Lucy is. God, I hope we yeah, don't I meet Yeah, I meant Alicia. I meant Alicia, sure. sorry. I hope we don't meet Annabelle. <laughs> God, I hope we don't meet Annabelle. God, I hope we don't meet Logan. Oh, so many people we shouldn't see in Chicago. I hope we Why are we here? I hope we don't meet Durga Sin. Oh, I hope god. we don't meet the Anarchs. Oh god. <laughs> or the sheriff. Oh man. Alright, so we get in our tinted windowed right. car and drive to the second is close. Okay. So, back at the house. Uh, Ryan's burned it down. So, you guys have obviously just played through, you know, a three day cycle of Majora's Mask. You know, completed a dungeon. Uh, it was the Goron <coughs> dungeon. The Gorons. The Gorgons. And, uh, yeah. So, after that, uh, Lucy took you down to the uh, home theater room. Put in a VHS of a uh, Godfrey home movie. Pierre Kirby. Obviously Pierre Kirby. Uh, probably, mm -hmm. I, probably Hunting Express, I would imagine. Because she is planning on seducing you. You begin to think, Ryan, that maybe she's got a little crush on Pierre Kirby. <laughs> From the way she's following his every move. <laughs> Alright. Um. Alright. Apparently he has nothing yep. to say to that. I was okay. Nah, fine, whatever. So yeah, as you are watching the movie, actually I'm thinking it probably makes more sense to watch American Commando 3 as you have sex, because that's the one with the woman that's so beautiful in it. Remember the woman who's so beautiful that she can't get a job? Go on. Is All that the... where George kills her at No, the that's true. There's the other one. Hunting Express has George in it. I don't know which you one know, would be and, better. And he shoots her you the put them on as a double yeah. feature. Anyway, yeah, I was going to say, you just well, so, so obviously, George would, you know, get Lucy very excited. He, he is her type. <laughs> but I don't know if Ryan would be comfortable with her getting excited over the guy in the heart. Well, that's what I'm saying. She, you notice that she gets a little, for Pierre, Pierre Kirby kind of. I mean... Hmm. But you're also attracted to both is. George and Pierre Kirby. And, so, and, and in the George one, uh, Pierre is the bad guy. That just makes which it hotter. Makes it, I know, which I makes it even hotter. Hot, right? You know, I'm sure the second one's probably a better performance boost for both of us. So. All right. So yeah, you guys are watching. It's kind of like tantric sex because every time the Godfrey Ho footage stops, you guys stop having sex. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just sort of this yeah. marathon long. Um... So yeah, it will be another blood point for you to activate yourself again. 
Like any woman, she's uh, just draining you dry. Well, you know, just drink from her and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine with it. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, you guys are just in the midst of all of this. Um, and David, give me a wits plus alertness. <laughs> Slenderman appears. <laughs> that is, uh... Five. All right. So under her uh, suggestion, uh, you guys do like a role-playing thing where uh, you're pretending to be Pierre Kirby and she's pretending to be George, obviously. I was really going to do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pierre okay. Kirby. Anyways, so... Well, so right, so she looks away while Ryan obfuscates to once, look like Pierre Kirby, right? Once she's placed you in a sort of doggy style no. position with her on top, uh, you feel a sharp pain in your back. Oh. Um. Uh. And your limbs feel heavy all of a sudden. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I'll be like. I'll give some indication that I'm in pain right now. All right, safe word. <laughs> I was gonna say you're like we didn't set up a safe word. Uh, like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? So yeah, you just kind of lose consciousness. You just kind of like pitch forward, paralyzed. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. Can I talk? <laughs> the devil. Uh, no. Well, oh, this was all the woman. See, you know, you didn't learn from Derek. <laughs> <laughs> and now we will discuss the third drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that's where we switch off back to the other two. All oh, right. <laughs> Excellent. You do hear, uh, Ryan, I will say, as soon as that happens, you start to hear, like, a scuffle in the house. Like, you're paralyzed and can't move, but you hear the sounds of fighting and, like, Derek, like, yelling. Oh. Alright. And, obviously, back with the other two. Alright, so, blissfully ignorant of the... Yeah, so you guys... Attack on the Haven. Head over Let's to... Let's go back to the exciting part. Exactly. Yes. You guys head to the Succubus Club with the man you're schmoozing. For yes. business reasons. With what you're schmoozing. <laughs> Okay. All right. So yeah, he goes off uh, to feed. He just kind of starts circulating. He starts talking to a number of different people. So I will attempt to uh, blend in since he obviously doesn't particularly need my company. I'll just order. I would, I would assume he doesn't. He doesn't want help with this. That would be a stain in his pride. I would assume. Yeah. Also, he's got presence on his own. So. Right. And on the no so need, I'm just gonna, no for that. I'm just going to find a table, get a glass of wine, and... Just hang out? Hang out. All right. I think I may as well get one more point of flat just to fill off completely. No reason not to. Okay. Uh, appearance plus subterfuge? Uh, eight specialty. I want to see Jonathan dance. I'm not dancing. Yeah, you're able to uh, find... A girl and fill up. Excellent. Right, then that's uh, all I'll do. I'll just keep an eye on if things in here. Okay. Make sure nothing shady is going on. Alright. So yeah, as you guys are basically keeping a watch on him. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, like, there are some kind of anarchs that you see that you see around. And they kind of, you know, give you the stink eye. Mm-hmm. Because they're not the good anarchs. They don't give me the fist. Damien gives no. me the fist. So there's the Damien anarchs, and then there's the... Heinz anarchs. The Heinz anarchs. Yeah. So you see Carl there. He's the guy you staked for a while. Okay, so he... Okay. So he... He's bloodbound to me. No. He's no. not the one. He's the other one. It's, I don't see the other one that is bloodbound to me. No. Okay. He's in Gary. All right. All right. Damien's not there. Nope. I can't... I would like to ask him eventually if I ever get a chance. Who the hell Should we is? try to get out of here, maybe? Well, I don't think we have much of a choice. We're going to have to wait for the Ventru. 
because he's not going to want a couple of knuckleheads going up to him going, okay, so see, the Anarchs, they don't like us, and we have to leave. We can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> so as long as they're giving us this thing guy and not him, yes. that's probably fine then. We'll just, yes. All right. Lucky bus is Elysium, right? So nope. No, it's not. You could be attacked at any moment. Well, I'm going to assume that they're not going to do that. <laughs> All right. It will be quite dumb of them. Also, Finger. they're giving the stink eye. They're giving the stink eye, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eye contact. Dread gaze. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready for them. <laughs> All right. All right. Daring him to make a move. <laughs> I am so hot and intimidating. I am way out of your league. Perhaps you notice how scary I am. No, the neck beard would make you more intimidating. That's true. No, it wouldn't. No, it would not. <laughs> I'll make you, know, you, you touch know what, it. You know what, no, you know what would, though? A burn mark. That's true. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can arrange that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Steven is I don't think I need your help with that, Zach. <laughs> Steve would right. be happy to help you out. Once DeVries is set on fire, you can jump on him and try and yeah. diablerize him. Sure. That'll be good Let's head out. <laughs> Alrighty, so how long do you think it takes a Ventru? So after about an hour, he comes around and says that he is finished. Oh, very good. Very well then, let us be off. Let us be off. I'll text Terry to bring the car around to the front yep. so we can just zip right on out of here. So uh, he tells you to take him out to the wasteland of Gary. Okay. Glad that that's what he's calling it. That's beautiful. Right. Your time's cut out. You're just saying the wasteland, right? Wasteland of Gary? Of Gary. Wasteland of Gary, yes. Yep. Right. All right. That is no problem at all. Off we go. All right. I will again make sure we're not being followed or attempt to. Okay. So give me a perception plus alertness. That would be five. All right, then. And presence one. Oh, presence uh, aspect one. <laughs> If we're not being followed, I make sure we are. Yeah, I was going to say, you want us to be followed. Um, you are being followed. By whom? Car By who? What car? Um, so you check the license plate, and actually it's familiar. It's the same one that you saw that was hanging around your office. The one that the security guard told you about, and the one that you saw as you were heading to go yeah. meet right, up. I will, um, I'll whisper this to Steve. I assume... Uh, the Ventru is in the front seat alongside uh, Terry, who's the chauffeur, and me and Stephen in the back? Um, he would sit in the back seat. He would sit, yeah, I was going to say. And since he had a rapport with you, you probably sat in the back seat with him. Terry and I are going to be Ah, uh, God damn, that's really bad. <laughs> lean how can, forward. How can and... I... I was going to say. You are just, sitting behind Stephen, I would you say. Are, you are just going to have to kind of lean forward and, and whisper something in my ear. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that. I hope this guy doesn't have aspects. Now, <laughs> someone behind well, us. Well, that, that, that is one of their uh, clan disciplines. <laughs> this is one of our one of our thousands of enemies is yes. after us. <laughs> uh, well, I've, I believe the guy is an enemy of mine specifically. All right. But still, I, I will I will tell Stephen. I'll whisper to Stephen. All right. Right, so and I'll do I'll do it low enough that even with Auspex one, it would be difficult to hear it. Uh, pretty much with Auspex one, like if Stephen is able to hear it, then yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll whisper to Stephen, and I will hope he didn't hear that. All right, fingers crossed. All right, well, well, he's gonna notice when I. I'll make when a... you whisper to yeah, Derek. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm gonna... And we speed up. <laughs> I'm gonna make a signal to Terry. Um, that he needs to lose the guy. In that case, we just fucking say it. I was gonna normally. say, um, yeah, we'll say, apparently we have some unwanted company. Alright. Um, there have been reports of hunters. Obviously, Terry, you need to... Lose right. this tail. So he kind of has a notebook out and memo pad. And so you've been having problems with hunters in the city. In the past, yes. We thought we had it taken care of, but you never know. They may show up again. It's interesting. Let me make some notes. Great. 
Though if they are here, we believe the numbers are incredibly few, as in I recognize that car specifically, and only that car specifically. We won't tell you that the guy you're sitting by is being possessed by Slenderman. <laughs> Put that in your little notebook. No. <laughs> Sorry. Just Stick that in your fucking memo pad. You that's, that's bend for what, piece of that's shit. That's what's going through Stephen's mind. Yeah, put that in your little memo pads. No, I, I do have one that that, that oh. car is the only yeah. one we recognize out all of right. them. Oh no, you might not want to think that. What if you can read minds? Hmm? Uh, I believe you would usually notice if someone is doing that, don't you? If you're a kindred. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to assume he's probably was... not reading my mind. All right. Being I'm gonna familiar, hope he's not reading your mind. Yeah. So as um, Terry starts to speed up, this guy uh, keeps pace with you. Every time before, when you've obviously noticed him, tried he's, to duck he's... him, he's backed off. But this time, he is sticking right with you. Hmm. And Terry can't. If I look him? back, can I see the driver? Oh yeah. Who is it? Okay. Um, it looks similar to the. Uh, you can't see his eyes. You can see him as a. Damn it. Um, so funny. You, he looks very similar to the guy that the description you got from the security guard and also to the kind of strange guy from the New Year's Eve party. It's possible this is Sullivan Dane. I mean, he's a hunter, so that's probably the... But I wouldn't recognize him. But He is also no. a holy well, man. You would see him out... You would have seen him outside the New Year's Eve party. Okay. And you're familiar with him. He's also a holy man, isn't he? Uh, it's possible he might have true faith. Uh, Modius told you guys that he believed he was with the actual Inquisition. Right. All right. Well, so... in, in character, I don't know for sure if he has true faith. Out of character, I obviously know for sure he has true faith. He is. If he is with the Inquisition, obviously faith. I mean, is he's... kind of requirement. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. All right. All right. Oh, uh, that's that's really bad. That's really okay, bad. Okay, so we're not able to elude him. Not in, like, the streets of Gary, where you kind of have to obey traffic laws, otherwise you're going to, or Chicago, where you're going to have police on you. Possibly mm -hmm. in Gary, in, like, the wasteland area, you might be able to. Okay. As um, also, we will be completely alone and they can just attack us out of... I, out of have, I have tacks in the trunk. I have the, st the cow trips that you, that will, um in the trunk, which I'm assuming I can get to through the back seat. If <laughs> You're going to climb through the back seat? I may have to. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, we got Sullivan Dane. I cannot let Sullivan Dane the Hunter kill DeVry's the Ventru. It's, this is not <laughs> what I have to do, I will have to do. But you're in the front seat. Wouldn't be so for me to go get it. Well, that's what I'm just saying. So if we cannot evade him, we may have to start taking some bigger actions. All right. I'm just... I'm just I'll let you letting... consider what you want to do while we move back to okay. Ryan. So Ryan, you have been paralyzed for some time. You heard Derek uh, sound like he was getting his ass kicked. Possibly by Lucy. Oh. Um, and then you, suddenly you feel the stake pulled from your chest. And all of a sudden, like, your vision floods back. You're able to see and move again, but you find that you are actually, uh, like, tied down, like, with heavy chains, down to what looks to be some kind of operating table that's been set up inside the sitting room of your haven. Steven's haven. So, uh, Hello. looking around, you do see one figure, uh, it is Lucy, she is standing off in a corner, just kind of staring at the corner. Um, and then just, you can barely make out the outline of a figure laying on the ground, which looks like possibly it's Derek. Okay. I will call out to Lucy. All right. Um, she kind of shudders, but she doesn't really respond other than that. I will look around the rest of the room. Can I see anything else? Uh, yeah, other than that, it looks pretty much like the sitting room that you're in before. After a little while, though, you do see a figure move past uh, the window out into the garden. It looks like it's a guard or something on patrol. He's got, uh, like, an assault rifle in his hands. And he's got balaclava oh, yeah. over his face. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
So, hmm. All right. All right. Um. Well, time to break these chains. <laughs> All right. Ryan's gonna break free from his chains. So what's uh what's what's your strength? Three plus one potion. Nope. <gasps> Nothing. Time, so I will get these chains. All right. How much, how much stronger do I reckon I should be to be able to break these? Oh, yeah, that's right. Actually, you reminded me of one other thing. Uh, you've been drained down to a single blood point. You didn't mention that. It's, right? It just, yeah. You're hungry as well. You're hungry. <sighs> Yep, you're right. My bad. So, so I have one blood. Uh, am I am I close? Um, you're in the same state that you were in when you got staked. So, I mean, the yeah, erection is gone. Naked. The erection is gone. Though. Yeah, that's where his one point is. is his I, so, am I completely naked? Oh yeah. All right. All right. So, all right. Yeah. So I'm chained to a an operating table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Derek seems to be on the floor lying down. Lucy staring into a corner. I saw a guard outside. Mm-hmm. There's no one else in the room. Um, and after a little bit, you see another guard go by. It looks a little bit different from the first guard, so it's possible there are multiple guys on patrol around the house. Um. Sure. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anyone else in the room. You can't see anyone else. I will attempt. No. Never mind. Hmm. I will. Hmm. Alright. Can I figure out anything about how these chains are tied? Any sort of weakness? Alright. Yeah, it looks like um, they have been, uh, like, uh, locked together. Um, possibly with some kind of padlock underneath it. Wherever it is connected together, you can't really tell. But it is, like, wrapped basically from your shoulders all the way down to your feet. You're kind of, like, mummied up in this thing. Wow. Um, and they're big, heavy chains, too. Uh, and then as you're kind of examining yourself, uh, you hear a voice, and someone pops out of Obfuscate. Ah, Herr Ryan. And you see your sire standing over you. Hello, sir. You have uh, not been coming to your checkups regularly, Herr Ryan. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, just thinking it could do tremendous damage to your recovery if you don't speak with me. So I arranged for this little encounter between us. Well, here we are. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I think it is time that we speak about... The man. I'd like to know more about that, sure. I wish for you to call him. Here? Now? Now. Wherefore? So, he kind of leans down in your face, and you can see that he's taken, like, a scalpel uh, from somewhere. He says, Ryan Boyle, summon the fucking Slender Man right now, or I'll cut you ear from ear. Well, that would be me you need to call in. <laughs> it's true. How do I do it? Just do it. Okay. I'll Just. <laughs> I'll try. 
Alright, well, I will for the Slenderman to appear. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything. Your Sarah waits a moment. And then he starts going around the room and he starts setting up, like, tripods with camcorders, like, showing in kind of all directions, and then some of them pointing at you. Of course. You should try calling out the Slenderman's real name. Start saying Slenderman, Dirk Postman, Unfaradov, I'll say it all. <laughs> all right. The Grey Man. <laughs> Fuck off, yeah. Now then Jonathan just walks in the room. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> all right. So once he's finished, you know, you've been shouting for a while now. He says, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. I'm very disappointed. Ryan, you knew there was one fucking reason I gave you the embrace. And you fucked it up. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that now, would I? Hmm. That's a fair point. You know, you're kind of an arsehole, but I'll give you that one. That's a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> The thing is, I think if you call out loud enough, it'll show up. The thing I just have to do is find a way to make you shout loud enough. And then he goes over and slams the scalpel into your chest and starts uh, basically dragging it down, moving it around the chains, uh, forming mm -hmm. like a Y incision on you. Oh, okay. I do believe I'm currently shouting right now. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you'd be having to make a hell of a self-control roll not to. Uh, and we are going to swap back over to the other guys. All right. Mace, Chuck, Bomb. <laughs> I'll just leave you to imagine what's happening to you. Jesus. <laughs> All right. So, you guys are heading off. I assume in the general direction of Gary, and this guy is still with you. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, however, Terry, if we can get us out where we can get more maneuverable, um... Yeah? You know, obviously we don't want to lead him to where we're going, Terry knows that. Yeah. He's got evasive actions going on, so yeah. Alright, yep. Yeah. So you get him out somewhere where there's no, where you've got some maneuverability room. He's still right with you. And he's still right with us? Okay, so I'm gonna suggest to Jonathan that, um... If he can get the uh, the cow trips out of the trunk of the car, um, possibly I will uh, I'll drop them on the road in the back with movement of the mind, um, and maybe we'll disable his vehicle. Very well. That's just a perfectly solid plan. All right. I will turn to uh, the rear and say, I apologize for the inconvenience. All right. No, don't get the call trips. He's making notes in his So as system. you're digging these things out of the trunk, he says, so is this a common occurrence in Gary? It's the first time I've ever done this. Uh, it was not in Gary. Um, Chicago has its troubles. Mm-hmm. Interesting. He's obviously making notes. Yes. So yeah, you pull out a big handful of cow trips. Okay. No, I make it quite clear that this is the first time I've ever done this. All right. Just, yeah. This isn't Absolutely. necessarily the All first right. time I've done it, so I'll just stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so I will, movement of the mind, the, I'll take off my willpower point. Okay. And a blood point. And a blood point. And, and what is your current willpower? Um, it is, that's my permanent, right? Yeah, which your is, permanent. Which is seven. All right. And I will spread them out of the road so he will hit one of them. Doesn't He can't avoid them. Okay. And I have to look something up really quick. way more dice than I 
Gone. So as you are trying to move into the mind them out, you feel something actually, like, interfere with your magic. Like, you're doing it, and then it just cuts out. Um, they do scatter all over the road, but just by coincidence at the same time, he seems to just go, they all go right under his car. Oh, crap. He's got, okay, so I know what that feels like, right? I'm, I've. You know what it feels like I'm, now. I've had experience with this. So, oh crap, so he does have true faith. Yeah, you don't know exactly if that's what it is, because you never experienced true faith before, but it certainly matches the descriptions you've heard. So he has counter magic. Damn it. Okay. Ravnos tried to warn you. <laughs> Beware of the holy man. He tried to warn me. <laughs> Jonathan's there too. All right. Saying beware of something doesn't fucking protect me from it. <laughs> I don't think you know how yeah. fortune tellers work. Yeah. They've never actually saved anyone from anything. I don't know if you've ever read any story. Uh, no, I'm aware of that. <laughs> it's just say, this will happen. <laughs> They're the least helpful people in the world. Honestly, telling me to beware of something, you know I can't. You know it's not going to matter. <laughs> All right, well... <sighs> Well, we're going to have to use some mundane tactics then. Ooh. So, I guess I will shoot at him because I have no other option here, really. We're going to open fire? Uh, apparently I have to. I'm not going to want to stop and, unless we want to stop and see if we can talk to him. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I don't really have any plans yet. I am unarmed. I mm -hmm. didn't bring a weapon. I am... Yeah, I don't really get what I'm meant to be doing here. Terry can hand you his gun if you want. I was gonna say, I don't think um, it'll help. I'm not particularly good with a gun. Do you, do you have any experience with firearms? Uh, I have had some experience. Then I suggest um, you take my bodyguard's gun and you help me attempt to disable this vehicle behind us. Do you commonly find yourself disabling vehicles? I have in the past, although it is not a common occurrence. All right, he makes a note in his memo pad and then he takes Terry's gun. I was in the war, the Great War. Not the no, Great not War. Not the Great War, but the other war. <laughs> the big one. The big one. <laughs> All right, so that is a dexterity plus firearms. So that is going to be five. All right. And I've got my laser grip and sight and blah, blah, blah. We are attempting to disable the vehicle. Yep. All right. Hands. All right. So he ducks around your bullets with the car. He starts swerving back and forth, and then he slams on the gas and he rams into the back of you. Okay, this guy is seriously pissing me off. <laughs> Do you want to keep firing at him? That out of character, or in character. In character. You might want to... Oh. Hmm. So, do you want to keep opening fire on him? Um, I guess I will attempt to shoot the driver at this point. Alright, shooting at him. Alright. Uh, you miss. Damn it. And... Uh, that is a miss as well. So he tries to pit maneuver you guys. All right. So he gets around behind you and you start swerving. He pit maneuvers you and you start swerving out and have to stop. All right. That's it. Behind the, open the doors behind him, using them since they're armored. All right. Shooting at him. Shooting at him. All right. So 
we're going into combat, so everyone give me a uh, wits plus dexterity. We will start with Steven. Five. Mine is also five. All right. We have other, um, we have stuff in the trunk. I feel like I would be better off trying to dread gazing if I can get his eyesight. Okay, but you may have Remember to Remember the disciplines things. will have to work through faith. They, he's got true faith. Our disciplines don't yeah. work. Um, Does they up don't work? No, there are some grenades. They might the work, but they would have to, his faith resists them. And this is still a mundane, so he probably has quite a lot of that. Yeah, actually, he does. So why don't you get the grenades out of the trunk? Okay, that's, a, that's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do that. What do you use with those? Do you use firearms still? Athletics. And I was going to say, what, yeah, is say Terry's, no. what is Terry's athletics plus strength? Is he the best one to throw? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Minus four. Okay. Then we'll let you throw. I mean, okay, so DeVries at this point needs to realize I have all the stuff in my trunk, so his questions about does this happen often <laughs> yeah. are kind of rhetorical. All right. And we need to hand... Um... Does Terry want the MP5 or the M16? Uh, give me a second. Uh, he takes the M16. Okay. All right, so Dane uh, gets out of his car first and uh, he pulls out uh, a shotgun and uses it to open fire on you guys. As All right. All right, so he is going to open fire on Steven first. Uh, your car door blocks part of it, but uh, you are still struck. So it is only a glancing blow, but you do take one point of aggravated damage, unless you have uh, fortitude. I do not. Yeah, it is incendiary ammo in his shotgun. All right, so I let everybody know um, that that's an issue. Um, all right, so who's next? Oh, and give me a courage roll. Four. All right. Uh, you are not in frenzy. Okay. All right, and it is Steven who goes next. All right, so I will attempt to shoot him. All right. So that is five. Uh, let's see. Um, he is also taking cover behind his car door, so you actually hit the car door. You smash the glass next to his head. And it is Jonathan's turn. Right, I suppose I'll try to throw a grenade then. All right, dexterity plus athletics. Five. All right, and what do these grenades do? I think I think I'll uh, buff my dexterity. I, I, okay. I think I'll have my dexterity buffed, so it's four, unless you'll allow me to have it to five already. Uh, sure. Yeah, you had plenty of time to get prepared buffing things, so I'll allow it. Okay, it's five then. All right. So total roll is seven. All right. Um, okay. Um, and let me look up explosives for a second. All right. Oh, 
Wow. Yeah, so you uh, actually nail this guy directly. Like, you roll it like, it's beautiful when you see this. If Steven were a Toreador, he would be would mesmerized. Be mesmerized. It crazy. rolls, like, just under this guy's feet, like, just below. He's crouched down under this car door, so it's, like, right under his crotch when <laughs> it goes off. Excellent. Fuck your faith. I've got grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Why I have them. I don't think my character's gonna be happy about this, though. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is pretty bad. It's probably, uh, humanity loss right there, I'm thinking. Yeah. Alright. Um, and he's human, he can't soak that, so, yeah, no, you, you hear a, a screech. You know the, uh, the sound of the ultimate the suffering? <laughs> no, it's the sound of the ultimate suffering from the Princess Bride. <laughs> the princess bride. No, no, I do not, actually. Huh. That's what it is. That was the cry of utter suffering. I've only heard that For cry once. For a quarter before. of a second. <laughs> yeah. He's still alive. In silence. He's alive. <laughs> no, yeah, he's alive. <laughs> so no conscience roll yet. Uh, no, I think at eight you still have to make conscience roll, even oh. just hurting another person. Um, no, really? Yeah. Eight's rough. You're more human than human. All right. You actually have more humanity than Sullivan Dane does. <laughs> a lot anymore. No, obviously. Um, Down to four now. So DeVries is going to continue to fire. Okay. Um, and he misses. And uh, Terry will grab a gun from the trunk. And that is what he does this turn. Okay. So Dane is back up. Gotta have some wound penalties, though. Yep, he does. And he is spending a willpower point on this one. Alright. And he already uh, is focusing on you, Steven. Of course he is. The greatest threat. Yeah, Jonathan rolled the grenade under his crotch. That's true, actually. That's a good point. Alright, I'll switch it to Jonathan. Okay, good. <laughs> You wanted you wanted that burn mark. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Oh shit! <laughs> you take one in the face, buddy. <laughs> That's five points of aggravated damage, Jonathan. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, that's real bad. Yikes! You wanted I, oh. you wanted the burn mark. <laughs> um, oh. So I'd crawl into the back seat and and. So you game. also hear the sound of the ultimate suffering again? <laughs> ah! uh -huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, All he's right. hitting the hair like his, his face, his hair is turning to cinders. Oh my goodness. It looks real bad. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um. Alright. What, what did he hit me with? Uh, and a dragon's same... breath round from a shotgun. Yeah. But oh god! Is is it a pump action? Does he have more than two shots? Uh, you can't really see from where you are. Okay. You'll find out on his next turn. I guess I will if we don't take him out. All right. So it is so obviously Steven's he's turn. He's still fighting, so I'm gonna try and fire at him. All right. I can't heal him, can I? No. Nope. No, you're. Oh boy. You got a good month of uh, of healing up there, boy. All right. You hit him. What's the damage right. on your gun? Five. All right. All right, that's it. You clip him in the head, and he, like, just is laying flat on his back as a pool of blood is growing around him. I'm going to need conscience rolls from you and Jonathan. All right. Mine is three. Mine right. is two. <laughs> What's your humanity, actually? My humanity is seven. All right, yeah, from both of you. All right. All right. Both of you make it. All right. Nice. We I got away with Martha. We hated this guy. Well, you didn't get away with Martha. You feel really bad it. about it. You were devastated about this. I feel terrible. Oh, it's so yeah, bad. Oh, no. Yeah, this is terrible that we had to kill this guy. Oh, poor Dodge. Um, poor Solomon Dane. <laughs> All right. The world is a I cruel feel so place. 
We need to I feel this so up. bad for him. I say as I hold my fucking bleeding head for half a <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, you feel um, bad for other reasons. We need oh, prob- this poor guy, and I'm kicking his corpse. <laughs> we probably need to clean this up. Uh, yeah. You guys so, are in, like, the abandoned area of Gary, but... So, I guess... We someone probably heard gunshots. Yeah, we should probably clean yeah. this up and... Got, well, they heard gunshots. So, I will... So... <laughs> they didn't hear explosions? Yeah, and the explosion. And the explosion. Okay. Um, the tanker murderers. All right, all right. Well, shall we take oh, shit. this car and dump the body? Do we have a body dump yet? Because I really... Not feel really, like but you can find a place. To... I really feel like... What have been your to... basement? Yeah, no, I'm not keeping him in my basement. This yeah. guy's gonna come back to life and be in my it's basement. True. God above. But hey, good news. He had dragon breath rounds. That yeah, means we, we have we dragon breath rounds now. We now have dragon breath rounds and a shotgun, I believe. That's true. Yeah. So really good. that's going in the trunk. Yep. Um, Absolutely. What else does he have in his car? All right. Um, he has... Well, do you want to stay here and search it, or...? We'd, no, we're taking it. Yeah, we'll we'll take it to All right, wherever. So we'll handle the search yeah. later then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Lion's also, a little I busy. A, I will make I will <laughs> okay. make a report about this to Modius immediately. All right. Yes. Um, taken care of. So yeah. So it, either uh, you have drive as well, Jonathan. So either Jonathan or I can drive the car. We'll. Oh, and should I really be driving when I'm at minus five health? Oh yeah, no problem. I'll take the car. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm busy. <laughs> Jonathan's still crying in the back seat. DeVries can I'm take missing, the front I'm like seat. Missing next an to... arm here. <laughs> can take the can take the front seat next to Terry now yeah. that he's probably cooled on Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. And then we'll drive it into Gary. Do the body dump. Search the car, and okay. then we'll take DeVries on his tour. Okay. So, um, you do find in the trunk, uh, like a crossbow and a set of bolts. Okay. Um, you find, like, some religious articles which do still have a aura of faith around them. You don't want to get close to them. Okay. Um, the shotgun was a double-barreled shotgun, and the incendiary rounds have deformed the barrel. Okay. But there are, uh, there additional are okay. incendiary rounds there. Okay, so we'll grab So those. you could fix them to any 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and I got a crossbow with bolts. Mm hmm. That'll be good. I can. Uh... Crossbows are different from firearms, so they don't use that skill. They don't use firearms? What do they use? Uh, archery. But I can do. Or, uh... I can make their bolt shaft of bladed quiescence, too. You could do that. All right. Oh, I could practice on archery. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. So, meanwhile, with Ryan. Meanwhile. Yeah. So, after uh, making the Y incision, he has reached into your chest, pulled the rib cage Ooh, a open. Little, a little bloody eagle going on here. Yeah. Just to, you know, just let you all out there. Um, there's not much blood on account of you not having much blood left in you. Um, there's a significant amount of screaming, obviously. And, uh, when he's finished basically pulling your ribcage open, he seems really disappointed. Oh, I should probably tell you, uh, you have taken, uh, wound penalties up until mauled, which is one, two, three, four, five points of lethal damage. But it's not aggravated, so you're better off than Jonathan. That's true. <laughs> um, but he seems disappointed that nothing's happened yet. And he basically waits for you to stop screaming, which takes a while. And he says, uh, Boyle, oh, you have no idea just how fucking disappointed I am. Oh, boy. Are you right now? Uh, barely. What do you even want him for? What do I want him for? He's everything. It's all of it. Right there. All of what? I don't know. I found that thing. A long time ago. I can't get him out of my fucking mind. There's something there. Hmm. 
he has a strange sort of resonance with some people. And you've got it stronger than any of the others I ever took before. So that's why you were amazed. You killed her just to meet him? Of course. He seems to get possessive when someone else starts fucking with what he thinks is his. Huh. Which is why I can't understand why he's not here right now. By the time I got to this point with any of the others, he was already pounding on my fucking door. Well, maybe I'm not his. Hmm. No. Please don't tell him that the Grey Man is inside me. <laughs> I, I don't think I can deal with that right now. <laughs> the Grey Man inside me. <laughs> it's tempting. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking you very nicely. Dang Please man. Don't. <laughs> Gray oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> Says maybe. Problem is, I'm just not doing enough work yet. Uh, that's not the problem, Tom. Maybe you've <laughs> just been having it too easy. No, nah, no, nah, listen, listen. I'm sure, uh... Come on, let me try again, let me try again. <laughs> he says, I think what I need to do is I need to find a way to really hurt you. No, 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 no. He says, Lucy, come over here a second. No. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> so... Uh, he says, why don't you quiet down? The call is more spiritual anyway. And he, uh, he has a candle basically set up on his surgeon stand and he holds the scalpel over it. And then he reaches into your mouth and slices out your tongue with a burning scalpel. Nice. There's no additional damage to it, but because of the burning damage, uh, one of your already existing wound penalties is increased to aggravated. And, uh, it's going to be hard to heal. Right. You are now almost as bad off as me. Almost, but not quite, because you have five <laughs> aggravated. <laughs> Just gonna point that out. All right. It says now we're gonna get into the real business, and he I starts. Haunt, I activate haunt the soul. All right. So that's manipulation plus subterfuge versus sir's perception plus self control. Okay. What's your manipulation plus subterfuge? It's six, and I'm using a willpower point. All right. And that creates illusions? Yes. All right. Haunting <laughs> So, you don't see any immediate effects, and he starts heading over towards Lucy with the scalpel, and this is where we will move back over Alrighty. to the rest of the group. All right, so we're complete with our task. Um, yeah. What a fine job we did. Um, well, so, we did protect DeVries, so... <laughs> he says he's... After you guys are finished with Sullivan Dane, he says he's not in the mood to set, check out the Wasteland. Uh, I understand. Um, he says, I want you to take me to Modius right now. Okay, that'll be fine. Very well. So we will... I will text Modius and let him know that we are coming and apprise right. him of the fact that we were hunted. There is no reply from Modius. That's probably not good, but we'll go to the public haven. All right. And hope for the best. When you arrive there, um, it's still in the state of disrepair as normal, but then there's something weird. You see that the door has actually been kicked in. Oh, that's not good. I have reloaded my gun from my fight with Sullivan Dane mm -hmm. on the way over here. Unholster it. And... Um, I'll take Terry with me. Do I need Terry out with the car? I don't know. I'm assuming Jonathan is incapable of... Jonathan, are you handling the car? <laughs> Jonathan is blubbering in the backseat of the car. We're going to assume that that's fine. 
I'm using all my willpower to not scream out in pain constantly. All right. right. So I'm going to get Terry to bring his M16 with him. Okay. And we're going to go in and we're going to check out the Haven Uprising. So DeVries asks, is the Prince's Haven commonly assaulted here in Gary? (sighs) Apparently tonight is a night of firsts. Do you still have your weapon? Yeah, he's got a gun. All right. So inside, you can see that all of Modius's human servants seem to have been slaughtered. They're all riddled with bullet holes, and there are bullet casings, like, all around the place. Crap. Um, Um, And there is no sign of Modius anywhere. Okay, can I contact Elise? But as you are heading into the main sitting room, uh, you see that there is something set up on a table in the midst of what looks to be a, a big struggle, possibly when... He found Modius himself, whoever attacked this. Uh, sitting on the table, there is a uh, explosive device, and as you enter the room, uh, you trigger something, and you see a timer, a digital timer on it, start to count down. Okay. You turn have around. about 20 seconds. Okay, turn around and run away. All right. So, that is going to be a strength plus athletics. Uh, three... Right. Will PowerPoint. Okay. So you guys start sprinting the hell out of this place. Jonathan, you're sitting in the car, and then you see everyone run out, and then there's a huge explosion, and the house is engulfed in flames. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right. Into the vehicle again. All right. Um, at this point, I have no idea what's going on. I am going to... Okay, so I'm making several calls. Mm-hmm. I believe it's just best that we're on the move for now. All right. I'm going to call Ryan. Ryan does not respond. Okay, I'm going to call Alicia. Uh, she does respond, yes. I'm going to be like, where is Modius? Um, she says that she hasn't seen him. The mansion has been attacked. It's engulfed in flames. Modius has been attacked? These servants are slaughtered. What did you do? Fuck off! We came to the... What did Jonathan do? (laughs) I assure you, he is paying for his sins. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Can I snatch the phone from her? No. No, you're in too much pain. (laughs) No, uh, Alicia, whoever your father's contacts were, get the primogen together. We were attacked by Sullivan Dane. We need, we, uh, I don't. Hunters I'm, have done this? Yes, hunters have done this. Sullivan Dane. We Where's kill Lucy? Him. I don't know. I can't get a hold of Ryan. Find Lucy. And she hangs up on you. Find Lucy. Are you kidding me? Do you see where I fucking hate her? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. She doesn't um, see. She was on a oh. phone call. Oh God. Um, okay, do I have any of the primogen in, uh, do there I There really are no primogen in the Gary. The Nosferatu, the Lucian, There are some do elders, do yeah. You Lucy? don't really have their contact information, uh, though. Alicia. You haven't, tried, you haven't tried to call Lucy, yes. Do it's true, I, you tried to call okay. Ryan. I will try and call Lucy. Um, her, she does not answer either. Yeah, okay. It goes yeah, straight to voicemail. So DeVries asks, is that Alicia woman always like that? <laughs> and Jonathan's yeah, like, we're both, oh we're yes. Right. <laughs> yes! Always! That yes, I go, yes, yes too. <laughs> alright, so, alright. So, um, well, uh, unfortunately... DeVries, Derek won't pick up the phone either he, if you try and call him. I try and call everybody. Um, so, apparently... Gary has just been attacked. This has been an eventful evening. All right, so we're going to go back to the Haven. And I'm going to attempt to apprise the situation from there. All right. DeVries is still with you. Uh, I, I know. <laughs> I, I really don't have time. We're to locking you down, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, we don't have time. I can drop you off. You can get a taxi back to Chicago. I believe I am getting... A full view of what our, how our investments will be handled. So I will just continue in I this manner. I don't have time to worry about his ventru bullshit right now. 
things are happening, I have to safeguard my coterie and all right. Livelihood. Is, is, can I can I talk to him still? Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> but right. these really are good investments. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. I believe the fact that I didn't look like this at the start of the night should be pr proper. <clears throat> should be proper proof that this is not a common occurrence. <laughs> we'll discuss it. Mm -hmm. So you are heading back to your haven? Yeah, so we'll go back to the haven. Okay. And he, we will approach cautiously because it's very possible, since I left them at the haven, that the haven has also been attacked. All right. So, Ryan, you see... Uh, you see your sire uh, approaching Lucy with the scalpel, and she seems, you can tell that she's definitely terrified of him, but she's been basically dominated to do nothing. She's been incapacitated. So he's about to move towards her. He strips her naked, lays her out, and is preparing to do the same thing that uh, he did to you, to her, when all of a sudden there is a power cut. And all the lights go off. You're just thrown into darkness. All you can see are like the little red recording lights of all the camcorders around you. <coughs> He's here. He's here. This is it. Stop. <laughs> well, say that again, but without using your tongue. You're here. Huh? <laughs> all right, there we go. <laughs> uh, he basically he seems like he can't understand you because he just kind of pats you on the cheek and says uh, don't worry boyo I'll get the lights up in a fucking jiffy don't you worry I'll speak, I'll speak in babble without my tone alright <laughs> so you start babbling and he uh, basically you hear like the door open um, and he seems to be going to check the fuse box um, and then from out in the hall, you can see, kind of like through the moonlight, and then from the hall, there's like some lights for like battery-operated things. Um, so you can kind of see just dimly, there now is a figure standing directly over you. Is it Fucking a tall, kill slender? Him. <laughs> kill him. Kill sir. Uh, you feel like sick as a dog. Basically, you start coughing and retching uncontrollably as this figure is just looming directly over you on this table you're chained to with your guts opened up. Well, I won't have this. I'm fucking sick of this. <laughs> Literally, you can watch your own guts heave. As you're yeah, nauseous no, you can because see, you can see your lungs like, moving. Yeah. It's cool. As you're coughing. Dude, you're <laughs> Stop, sir. Kill, sir. Uh, and that's where you start to hear the shouts of the guards. So, Stephen, you guys pull up outside of your haven, and you can see there are guys in the grounds, and they seem to already be on the lookout for you. So, because as soon as your car mm -hmm. is anywhere near them, they start running and taking up defensive positions. Oh, shit. So it appears there's already an operation in progress. At the house. Okay. All right. All right. All right. On my phone. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do this before. I'm my security system. I'm All right. Looking through the, I'm looking through the cameras. All right. Like, trying to get a layout of yep. who is there. You can figure out. It looks like. Looking through the cameras, they're all outside, but you can see there seem to be five guys outside. They're armed with AKs, assault rifles, and they have balaclavas over their face. They look kind of like IRA terrorists to you. Hmm. I'm thinking, sir. It makes sense well, with the bombings and the... everything. All right, all right. All right. Let me see your book again. I want to look up what exactly my shaft of belated quiescence does. Because I would really like to stake, sir. Here's my rituals. Nope, it's not in this one. It's going to be in the trivia book.
I think it takes at least, I mean, I think it takes too much time for you to cast it right now. No, I have one in my Oh, satchel. do you? I have one okay. ready. I just want to make sure exactly, like, if I unleash it, or do I have to, like, try and, what I, what exactly I have to do with it? I just want to, I just want to, where's my premiere? That's this, I need someone. So, Jonathan, what are you doing? As little as possible. <laughs> I went into my bed, set my traps, and I fell asleep. <laughs> You're still in bed in the back of this car. Other rituals. So they haven't let you go yet. God damn it. As soon as they let me go, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Until then, you're just laying in the back seat of the car. Yeah. In pain. Cover. My beloved hat has gone up in flames. I'm, I'm sad. It's true. The fedora is gone now. You should really write down what book they're in and the page number next I to the really ritual. I should, because I just never know. Nope. It's not in here either. I have no idea. Look it up on the internet. Because I think it's the one where even if it gets busted, the little splinters keep going. I think that's the one. You have to make it like a uh, attack with a stake. Okay, so I do have to actually attack with it. Yes. Okay. All right, that's what I needed to know. Oh, all right, so I've reloaded my weapon. Terry has his M16. Um, I might pocket a grenade or two. All right. So you guys can go charging up? Um, I guess. I don't know that we have a choice. All right. So as you're approaching, they've already assembled defense positions, so they take aim with their weapons mm -hmm. and fire, mm -hmm. but nothing happens. They all start checking their weapons. It seems like all of them have jammed simultaneously. They're not firing oh, for well, some reason. that is unfortunate. And you start to feel a little bit like of a tickle in your throat. Oh, God. And even back in the car, Jonathan, you start uh, having coughing fits. Shit. It's... Fuck's sake, not now. <laughs> All right. Well, that's I say it. That, I say that in character for the record. All right. Oh, and give, Miles, give me a willpower roll. It is the current or max? Uh, max. Five. All right. Uh, you feel, uh, something trying to burrow into your mind. Is DeVry's with us? Yes. Okay. And Jonathan is back in the car. Mm-hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Because I know he's possessed. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't want to be anywhere near him. <laughs> But I know he's going well, to... Well, if, if, if I'm going to turn into the Grey Man, now would be the time to fucking deal with me. <laughs> yeah, this would be... And I'm wondering if I just don't go back there and stake him. You have you have Dragon's Breath rounds. I don't have a shotgun, though. It's true. The shotgun was busted. Yeah, it is. No, oh, the shotgun... Busted. Yeah. No, you have his, to get, is, his is deformed. You would have to go inside and get a new so shotgun. I do, I do have a shotgun, but it's in the house. Oh, fuck. It's so not a good I'm, time. I'm... <laughs> I'm wondering if we don't go back and stake John, because he's going to betray us, even though he's, like, terribly wounded. All right. Um, so I've got crossbow rounds, right? Mm-hmm. All right. 
right. I'm really sorry about this. Yeah, I am Ooh. really sorry about this, but Terry, hold him. I'm going to stake Jonathan. Just get it over with. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> My day is shitty enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we can't have you... We can't have... Honestly, you. I prefer this because this fucking hurts. Just get it okay. done. Okay, okay. Okay, All right. good. So, All right. crossbow bolt through his heart. All right. By the time you turn back to the action, DeVries has already strode into the middle of these guys and subdued them. Okay, thank you. Um, so, okay, I don't know how he did that, but is, is he coughing? Oh. Um, no, he is not. Uh, okay. But he is, they are all, they, he hasn't like defeated them or anything, like they just seem to have surrendered to him. With his presence or something. It's possible he used some sort of presence. Uh, I was gonna say. Some sort of majesty, perhaps. All right. So anyway, uh, so I will leave DeVries here to handle the goons. <clears throat> All right. Um, and then Terry and I, um, uh, he knows Slenderman's there. Uh, we're going to just do the best we can. All right. To go in and see what's going on here. All right. Not above. So, Ryan, after standing over you, uh, you know, you're shouting your advice. And it seems like the creature does acknowledge it because he starts walking past you and you feel like icy cold tendrils roll all up your body as he passes. And he walks out the door after Sir. Uh, but the tendrils are still on me? Uh, no, they kind of just like whiffed like just over your skin. Like they've touched like the hair on your arm as they passed. Ugh. Ugh. Gave you a little caress. Ugh. And then, after a little bit, uh, you see Stephen and Terry storm into the room, weapons drawn. I did warn uh, DeVries about uh, there's some possible uh, fairy creatures and a crazy Malkavian that he should probably be aware of. All right. In case they get past us. Shut up, cat. So, all right. So we storm in, and and Ryan's chained to an operating yep. table in my sitting room. Lucy, with his chest there. opened up. With his chest opened up. And Lucy oh. is there. It looks like she has just a tiny trail of blood where, uh, along her cheek, where uh, okay. she started to get cut, but she's just standing all there, right. terrified but petrified. All right, and, and and Derek is unconscious in a and corner? And Derek is staked and unconscious. It looks like he's been in a fight. He's been beaten up. Okay. All right. So, um, so Ryan, who did this to you? And is Slenderman here? Her. Her, her, her. Seems like his tongue has been cut out. Uh, okay, I'm going to imagine that that was Sir did this. Okay, so I'm going to use what little medical knowledge I have to put Ryan back together. All right. As quickly as I possibly Give me a dexterity can. plus a medicine roll. That'll be three. Well, so first off, you need to unchain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's part of the of the what would help Ryan be put back together. I've got I've got five dex plus medicine. Yeah. So you uh, are able to unchain him and basically put his torso back together. So you are in a position, Ryan, where you can start to heal if you got blood points. Um, what? I, I hear what? Uh, I got pills. This will be the third one for me, though. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, uh, can Eric. offer... Terry will pull out his wrist and offer it for you. Uh, but don't take uh, a whole lot I'm from him. We need him in a fight. I'm cute, Harry. <laughs> So he will willingly give you three blood points. All right, very good. So the aggravated damage yeah, in the I'm tongue are, are yeah, the aggravated damage in the tongue are unhealable, but the normal damage is fine. Um, um I mean, if I, I well, he's still I, I, only I, at four, right? So what I, I can give Terry blood points, though blood pills, though, right? He's already blood bound to me. Um, yeah, but it doesn't work quite the same way, it because it has work. to, it's not in his circulatory system, oh, okay. it's gonna be in his stomach until it works into his so, system. So, um, so Derek's body on the ground, is he drained of blood or what? Um, Derek still seems to have some blood in him. 
Well, I'll try to take some. All right. <laughs> so you're just going to be like two points blood bound to everybody around you. And then he gets permanently bound to Lucy and we're all good. And we're all good. Then you take blood pills over. Yeah. Um, you can take enough blood off him to heal the rest of your damage. I'm to the non-aggravated. On I'm still staying on four? Uh, no. That would oh, be wow. all of it with the three blood points you already have. You have enough to heal the full and still have one blood point left, or to keep the blood points however you want. How, many, how much blood points does it take to heal one lethal damage? Um, normal damage is just one per. Okay, I have four lethal damage and one aggravated, so I can spend... So you had four, and then you got a couple more off there. I have four blood points or... now, and I have four lethal damage. How much can I get off there? Uh, so one blood point, then. <laughs> he just, he wants you down at one. Okay. Alright, then I'll heal two of my damage. Alright. So your chest seals up a little bit. At least your guts aren't hanging out now. Yeah, let's go. Alright. So you guys going Sorry. after Sir and Slenderman? Yeah, and I can't still I still can't explain the situation really, can I? Nope. Uh, so wait, what about Lucy? What about Lucy? Uh she seems to still be traumatized. Has she been dominated? Or is she just It seems like she's been dominated, yeah. Can I undominate her? Can you dominate her? Um, only if the uh you have to have a lower generation than the no, I don't. dominator, I think. If she's been dominated, you may want to stake her as well. We're just staking all our friends. Well, I mean, it's better than have her suddenly turn on us. It's true. It's the exact same rationale you used against me. Yeah, but we know you're being possessed. She's nice. Yeah, but she's nice. being possessed by Sir. So, I'll leave it up to Ryan. Okay. Whether or not she's I mean, trustable. I mean, if we stake her, she's just going to be stuck in this room? Yep. Well, she's stuck in this room anyway, I guess. Yep. Sorry, Lucy. <laughs> Staking her? It's for your own good. Alright. All right. Crossbow, boom, through the heart. Okay. Alright, so she's staked too. Mm-hmm. I love you. <laughs> yeah, love you. So it's just the three of you left. All right. So now... All right. Now it's time to make it two. Now it's time to... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan. So we've got a couple there's of bolts four, here. Four of us. We've got that venture guy on Terry. Uh, he's outside. You don't know where... Yeah, I left him out guarding the goons because I didn't know what we were going to run into here. He, he's had a bit of an adventure already. Well then, alright, so we need to find we need to find them. Quick, let's go. Alright, so we'll all go right. back out and... Uh, DeVries is gone, but you do see that all of the guys he was guarding have been, like, torn apart. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. So, hmm. Alright. And then you can see, uh... Your luxury vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, it starts up, and it pulls out. Towards us or away from us? Away from you. Someone just stole your goddamn car. Shit! <laughs> Who? Oh, uh, uh. So, do, can I see who it is? Uh, well, I mean, you can guess. It's Jonathan. Well, that's one possibility. Or or DeVries, just leaving. Yeah. That could be as well. Yeah, or Sir. Or Sir. Or sir. <laughs> so I don't know. No, I, I, I guess can you guess. don't. I don't, I don't know. It could be anybody. Fucking blow the tire on the car. Uh, they... They're solid tires. They're yeah, specifically that... built not to be blown. All right, well, they got away. Yes, yeah, so they did, because they're in my fucking car, all right? <laughs> Seriously, we need to disable that when we leave. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. All right. You should get some sort of kill switch for your car. That's a good idea. And then give it to me. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Oh. All right. Well, well, fuck. All 
All right. So that is, uh, yeah, the, as you search the grounds, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around, and you don't feel any more slender presence around you. No. It seems like DeVries, Sir, and Jonathan are all... In the car together, wandering off. Fucking serious. Fucking party over there. And I don't know where Modius is. Nope. But I found Lucy. Right, right, All right, so I'm calling well. Alicia back. Mm-hmm. I found Lucy. All right, where is she? Yeah, is she okay? You, you yes. Take Lucy? All right. She's fine. Good. What about Modius? I am trying to arrange a meeting of all the elders in the city. I've lost DeVries as well, just so you should know. <sighs> Slenderman appeared. She's... what? Lucy was never... or Alicia was never told about that. Oh. Well, you should be apprised. Uh, Slenderman appeared, and that was where Lucy was. Lucy's been... Uh, because Sir, apparently, Ryan's sire wants to contact Slenderman, so he was using Ryan and Lucy to do so. Um, Slenderman may have DeVries and Sir and Jonathan. Jonathan? Yes, because apparently... How did he get Jonathan? Well, Jonathan and <laughs> Slenderman are pretty good friends at this point. What? There's you a might want to phrase that differently, please. I don't want it to think I like Slenderman. <laughs> yeah, you do. At least not yet. At least not yet. I, I might eventually, but not at the moment. There's a meeting of the elders in the city. Uh, it'll be tomorrow night. I'll text you the location. Be there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give my sire a call. All right. And well, leave a message for her. leave her a very detailed message. All right. She'll get back to you once it's nighttime yeah, in Europe. Of course it is. All right. So, uh, I assume you clean up the bodies. Yes, we clean up the bodies. Hmm. That's why I have a lot of lie. Do you unstake Lucy? Well, I would like to. Yes. All right. Talk to her. Yes. And I unstake Derek. All right. Yep. And ask him what his version is. I want to get everybody's version of the story. Yeah, Derek can basically just tell you that uh, Sir kind of came out of nowhere and just beat the hell out of him. Okay. Lucy? Um, so she doesn't really remember anything that's been going on um, until kind of just... Uh, her memories have been wiped up until the point where she was forced to um, uh, attack... Uh, Ryan and then just stand in the corner. Um, she doesn't know when she got dominated. That was obviously removed from her mind, but she Basically, she couldn't do anything. She was helpless to resist her instructions hmm. And she kind of breaks down into tears apologizing to you Ryan She just starts sobbing and telling you how sorry she is Yeah, I'll, I'll hold her until it's okay Well Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah we did. We did give Ryan some pants, right? He's not been running yeah. around naked. Okay, good. You found some it's pants. Okay, it's okay, okay. I love you. <laughs> we can't kiss right now. <laughs> well, we can kiss. We just can't talk. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I can give her a peck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We can do some open mouth kissing. There's just no tongue action going on. Um. Hmm. Once she's recovered, though, she does ask what happened to Jonathan. Um, well, um, he may have been kidnapped. Yeah. I'm going to assume that my luxury vehicle has some sort of OnStar system. Uh, I don't know. Do you have it? Because that can also be used against you as well. I need to. Well, okay. So what I'm thinking is I need a tracking system. I, I, I need the Batmobile tracking system, mm -hmm. essentially, which I have technothaumaturgy, so this is where... All right. In my third version of the <laughs> vehicle, since I'm apparently going to be buying a new... You'll get some sort of tracking system. I'm going to put in it a only... tracking system that you only can I use. can use. All right. That is going to be... A kill switch would also be a good idea. Yeah, a kill switch would be good. All right. I want to give it some sort of 
What, at what level of technothaumaturgy do I create artificial intelligence and I can just make the kit car? Uh, that's pretty high up there. Because cause that's what I want. I want to be Knight Rider. All right. Well, this is pretty much the end of this week's <laughs> session. Next week is going to be the conclusion, the final episode. One way or another, it's all going to be over. Yeah. We're never getting that waterfront park. <laughs> Nobody's going to invest in Gary now. All right. And Modius is probably dead. It's true. It'll become City might again. need a new prince, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll set Jonathan up as prince. Yeah. Well, no, because he's being possessed. If he lives through and it's is true. not possessed. We'll set Ryan Simon. up as we'll prince. We'll set Ryan up as prince. We'll set, Ryan we'll set Derek prince. up as prince. Somebody. Oh, Ryan. Yeah. yeah, no, Ryan can be Prince. That'll be fine. We'll have him all caving Prince. Up. All right. So first off, uh, what is what did you learn? Let's start with uh, with Stephen. Did I learn? I learned. Well, I learned a lot of things. Um, did I learn anything? I mean, really, I just I knew Jonathan was possessed. Mm -hmm. um, I learned Jonathan was a really good shot with a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And can roll it right under a man's crotch. He has been studying athletics. So, I did learn Studying that. athletics. Studying. <laughs> oh. what were doing. He's been reading books I about it. You and Jonathan learned about true faith. I did learn what true faith actually feels like. It's true. I'll take that. Okay. All right, Jonathan. I learned about dragon breath rounds. All right. And how. Negatively, they can impact your life. Yeah, I learned about. Um, I became quite intimately familiar with them. Let's say. I, I really wasn't planning this, but it worked out just perfectly that you were the one who got the face full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kind of We out. literally just, earlier in the session just were for talking. The sake of it, I would I would gladly um, take like an, a permanent alteration to my appearance, but I would really appreciate still having five appearances. <laughs> we'll work like some now. Scar makes him prettier. It feels so perfect. <laughs> like, it's canon. He has to have the burn scar at some point. Yeah. No, it worked out great. Um, and Ryan. Well, I caught a glimpse of uh, Sir's motives. All right. And now we're going to vote for uh, best role playing. Who won it last time? I did. All right, so you're the one who has to choose then. Vote for Ray. Vote for Ray. <laughs> I would for that exactly. All right, so David, you get four experience points. Both of the rest of you get three. And All right. I assume we can't spend experience points. Since nope. We're going to be continuing on. So we are going to uh, finish up this chronicle next week, and then after that, we will be doing a new Sabat game. So uh, I hope you will join us for that, and I'm going to end the stream. See ya. Bye-bye.